we good? Is it, is it Metro? Why is it still black? Assuming we're good. Hey there, guys, it's Metro. We're back. And if so, then... Yes, all right, cool. Hey there, guys, it's Metro. We are back. And yes, again, today we're going to do another day. Me and Harry getting together. He has made uh, really big leaps and bounds, honestly, in one uh, one week, in two days. So day three may be something really cool. Um, but yeah. You guys already know I'm streaming his content, so unfortunately, yeah, not the best quality. I apologize for that, but it's the best we got, so hopefully it's been good. Hopefully you guys have been learning. I think it's very educational. Total, what's up? Be welcome. I do think uh, even I myself am learning from seeing a different perspective. So, Blaint, what's up? Be welcome. I'm going to go ahead and get him in here, so here we go. All right, I'm back. You ready, Harry? Hello. What's happening? How's it going, mate? Day three, yeah. three days in a row. Never tanked before. Now you're tanking three days in a row. How's it feel? <laughs> um, yeah, man, it's a lot of learning to be done. How do you um, feel like it's gone so far? Yeah, I think, bro, like progression-wise, speaks for itself. Yeah, yeah, you're making great progress. A couple twenty yeah, ones like... upgraded already, so yeah, looking good. I think the gear was a very holding back factor. Yeah, it made it a lot harder for you to learn the class. I hadn't realized how bad of a problem that was going to be. Like, I always play Blood DK under geared, and I don't really find like it that big of a deal. But if you don't actually know the class, then the, the character plays like way differently when it's under geared. So. Yeah. I think it's a big, big thing. Yeah. So, yeah, and if we can just replace those boots, you'd be pretty much like probably like 275 or something like that maybe it'd be really good yeah as soon as the boots are gone because then we could upgrade the pieces we have yeah oh right and we never actually got that helm upgraded at some point we'll have to do that yeah cops back too he wants to join us in some keys today and cameras here morning right. enjoying these coaching streams great i'm glad that you guys are enjoying them i think this has been really like this has gone really well from the educational standpoint so i hope that it is helping people and i hope that it can be a good blueprint for those looking to get into it yeah. but yeah, yeah i'm ready to go if you are so what key do we have now um 21 thrown. thrown at a tide yeah how do you feel about that can't be harder than like any of these two. Okay. You know, is it hard? Yeah, it's, it's not. Hard I would. Than... It's probably going to be. Yeah, it's going to be quite hard. Um, the big problem is they're going to be sanguine. But yeah, you know, twenty-one. We'll see how it plays out. So, no time like the present, I guess. Ah. Uh, Hip. Hey, Metro, did you feel the earthquake? No. <laughs> so, like, so many people ask me about that now. Uh, no, nowhere near us. So, didn't feel it. Didn't even know it happened until people started messaging me about, about it. What's he saying? Cop wanted to come. Yeah, he's going to come, it sounds like. Ooh, Copalicious. It's just weird to me, the whole earthquake thing. Like, I don't know why a four point something earthquake is national news. Is it because it hit New York City? Is that why everybody's talking about it? Like, people who live all around the world are asking me about it. Like, how the fuck do you guys know about it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about it. <laughs> I, guess, I guess because it's, like, kind of uncommon for this area, maybe, but I don't know. Two six. Two six. Earthquakes on the East Coast make news. I just, I'm just surprised to hear that because we've had earthquakes. Like, I have had earthquakes here. Like, I, I remember a few of them in my life, so... But yeah, everything's good. I don't know if even at the epicenter was was a dangerous. I don't even know. Four point eight only. Major metro area. My family lives in Westchester, New York, and felt it. Oh yeah, yeah, just because it hit New York City, I guess. Tiny earthquakes in the UK make news. I guess it's just super rare. Much smaller than that. Oh, okay. Ah, fair enough. All right, Gizas. Hey, what's up? Oh, you got some snow today, cop. Nice. We actually had some snow too, but not much. It's all gone by now. 
Probably because the earthquake. Earthquake rattled the snow. I wish we had snow. It's supposed to be spring and it's constantly raining. Yeah, that's the whole country's covered in rain this week. But uh, next week's supposed to be really nice here. We got snow here today. I even posted a picture of it. Yeah, that's how I know it happened. <laughs> that's what I just said. I was like, oh, you got snow. We got snow too. We had the sonic boom from the SpaceX launch rattle our windows the other night. Oh, whoa. That is probably scary. All right, so what are you thinking for this? What happened? I'm not, not sorry. Um. It felt like a tiny earthquake that just couldn't commit. <laughs> it's kind of like Harry. See how many people sign up though. Yeah. Season of Discovery Phase 3, I guess maybe two also now hurt in the pool. Back to Harry Thanks teaching Metro how to tank. Yeah, pretty much. He actually has taught me some things. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> it's quite early too. Normally late in the season, I wouldn't start until later just because of that. Should be hard finding some DPS though. We just got to take whatever comes. Yeah, anything that's capable at this point is fine. Jake says, should I hit the buttons for him? Yeah, I mean, if you want to come. Indiana State fell short last night in the NIT. I watched that game. That white kid with the goggles is nowhere near as good as people make him sound. But the coach is apparently leaving, so maybe they're all going to transfer. Who knows? What's that? Ice hockey. Ice hockey, yeah. yeah. Even I've seen that guy with glasses. Oh, really? On TikTok. I switched to full-on generous pour since I am in Harry's group. 4% AOE damage reduction ought to help him. Right, that's the other thing about I We didn't even talk about it that in that direction, but, like, yeah, it's it helps everybody, you know? Like, it's a very powerful talent. Do I want to relist it? Oh, nice chicks. Hey, that's fun. Yeah, just going to relist it though. Did you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. did list. Oh, did you? I must have missed it. Sorry. Yeah. See all those trans bungs you don't have. <laughs> Gonna switch to headphones to log. To log? Oh, I have to log. Ah, it's switching. Yeah, I'm just looking through. Remember, I ain't done any of these expansions, bro. Uh, I know, you haven't done anything at all. <laughs> I like have like dreams of me having every transmog in the game someday, but obviously they just keep adding new things over and over again. What, do you, do, you, do you go and get all of this? I want to. I, I haven't, because it seems really daunting, but I really want to. The, the only thing that holds me back is there's, like, no actual, like, achievement point for getting them. 
that will be one day though i don't think so i think they know like if they did it it would be way too like imbalanced for the different classes and stuff but now that they're adding um have you heard about that like you're going to be able to get cloth transmog as a blood dk now kind of thing oh i heard that we can't transmog into cloth but you can earn it what right. Doesn't matter about the bloodlust. Yeah, now no, we're just gonna have to go with that one, I guess, because there's not enough players. They don't press it anyway. Yeah, unfortunately not. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, I know you won't be able to transmog the cloth yourself, but you'll get credit for it on your account now, which is gonna be huge. Yeah. Yeah, but I heard about the du dual battlegrounds as well. Yeah, we're gonna have to just take Stainy guy. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I heard about the dual battlegrounds and the Hearthstone, and that ain't come. Uh, yeah. Well, those things were all announced at BlizzCon, which, you know, yeah. they're announced like way, way, way in advance. I'm actually surprised we still don't have a, a beta yet. I thought it was going to be this week for sure, Alpha for War Within, but. Yeah, I think they did say that tier won't work just because it's a you have to be able to open it, right? Like tier does not drop the item itself in the current raids, but in the old raids it does. Like if you went to Molten Core, it would work. Just not the current raids because you have to be able to click it to create it, and only the class that can click it would be able to create it. I think they said they were like I think that was that was asked at BlizzCon. Didn't didn't they get asked and they like that's how it works, but we might try to find a way around it. But the yeah, like they obviously they don't want people taking the tier and then using it when they came and equip it in the actual current raids. So like a Legion raid where the raw tier drops you can unlock it, yeah. Presumably, I mean why wouldn't you, I don't know why you wouldn't be able to. Unless there's like something like hard coded about what can and can't unlock. I don't know. that. that it, it actually is crazy. Like, think about November. It was early November, too, I'm pretty sure. BlizzCon, like, goddamn. Like, a full college basketball season has happened. And there's not been any updates for the war with it. <laughs> like, yeah, a long yeah. time has passed since all of these announcements. Bro, like, yeah, a long time. It, wait, was BlizzCon last year? It was early November last year, yeah. Oh my god! So, bro, we've, we 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 should be due something soon. Then this month we'll probably get something. the alpha is coming this month for sure. We just yeah. I don't. I thought it would be this week for sure. When did you think that War Within was coming? Did you say September, October? Uh, I don't know what I originally said, but now given the cadence of their content, I'm thinking it's going to be the same time as normal. Like I think it's going to be late November. Late because, November. Yeah. Yeah, because there's there's a bunch of I've, I've read a bunch of articles recently. Uh, like Elden Ring is so popular in Japan and they had announced their expansion. Uh, everybody expected it to come out in the spring, but it's not coming out till the summer now. And apparently like all the companies that are even remotely in competition with, uh, from software have now pushed their products back to make sure their game comes out after Elden Ring's expansion. So I don't know if Blizzard cares about that, but realistically they may also be thinking about that as well. Five, four three two all right one. so this first hallway normally we would try to pull everything in here but again with sanguine i don't think it's worth it so we're just going to get uh, about halfway up and stop but this is a very 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 dangerous part of trash here so make sure you open what rune weapon and start building resources on the way bone shield and all that and then we're going vamp blood and you really want to not get hit in the back on these types of pulls that's going to be super dangerous like you're pretty much dead before you get to the end And one of the things that you can do to help this pull out a lot is make sure you're interrupting the casters. And then obviously like using AMS and stuff. Okay. Yeah, AMS, yeah. So like you just pretty much dug yourself a hole that you were not able to get out of out of the gate when you you basically gave up cheat death. You basically took the trinket off and because you just never built any resources up or did anything and you just got hit in the back for like ten seconds. Tola, Even Stains is laughing. <laughs> Tola, what's up? Or no, that's Hero. Hero, what's up? Hey, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Guess I didn't sleep very well. I feel pretty tired this morning, but other than that, Jesus about the Christ, same. Bro. 
Yeah, I mean, like, what are you? You're not even pressing spells. What are you doing? I'm pressing them. They're just not gone. Metro brother, been a long time. I hope you're doing well. Harris, what's up, buddy? What have you been up to? Yeah, you gotta stop getting hit in the back. That's like, but that's not even the issue. Like, you're literally just not pressing any resource spells on the way in there. The get hit in the back thing is not helping, but it's not why you die there. He died because he went like four seconds without actually death striking. Three. You gotta grip that two, other Oracle Denner. One. So if you haven't figured it out by now, like the most fragile time for Blood DK every single combat is the first two or three globals. So you need to get really like you need to get keen on optimizing those every time. Otherwise you're gonna this is yeah, what this is gonna happen to you a lot. I hopped yeah. over to Classic for a little bit and enjoyed Sod thinking about jumping back into retail for the new season. Sweet. Yeah, that's coming out in a couple weeks, so now's the time. But like, yeah, like the open with rune weapon thing is great, obviously, but if your back is to the mob, then you can't parry anyway. So even with like 80% parry, it's like you don't have the CD up, you know, stuff like that. Three, two, one. Watch your feet. Keep moving with Sanguine there. That mob's going to put another, yeah. Watch your feet. You want to just be moving preemptively there. Sanguine is going to make a mob like this really, really long. Sanguine heals a percentage not a flat amount. So when you have a mob that has like 50 million health like this mob and you let even one tick of sanguine go, that's yeah, that's like adding like a minute to the dungeon. Yeah. How's your day going, Metro? My day's going well. How about yours? Had a nice game of League with Harry this morning. So pull these two up to the next two and make sure you do not turn your back to the mobs as you run. And blood. Sanguine management is tough. Different people burn things down at different rates. Sometimes things decide to cast at the last second. Yeah, this is definitely the hardest to fix that he's going to encounter right now, so I'm glad that we were able to see it. Okay, we got good more stuff. Lichborn here. Rune Three, weapons up. Two, one. Okay, you got one out of the two parried rune, uh, dance, or slappy hands and vamp blood. Ready for sanguine movement? Good. Keep moving from Sanguine. Those mobs, when they hit you with that ability that's making that noise, it puts a debuff on you that makes you take more damage. You can parry that debuff. Otherwise, these mobs are normally pulled. Um, but again, this week with Sanguine, I think it's risky. And of, of course, the fact that you're struggling. But typically, I would pull this whole hallway. Both of these first two hallways are... Two. Very tough to survive, but very needed on timer. This room, you're going to grip the two casters out. So in this pack, you're going to have the left and right of the two mobs. Grab both of them. Good. You don't have threat on the one witch. Now, as we finish this pack, we need to start thinking about how we're going to pull the rest of this room. It's very complicated with this giant patrol that's in here. We Watch need to make feet. sure that we are not pulling uh, that patrol by accident. And if you do, you will instantly wipe. Watch your um, feet. So we need to watch where it is. And yeah, okay, so now it's going to run across. That's the child. 
Yeah, so when it gets like two ninety degree uh, away from the other pack, then you can pull those. So wait a few more seconds. Three, two, good. Okay, grip that one and line of sight. Three, you can also two, grip the other oracle. And people one. didn't align inside it, so it's just going to sit out there. You got to not turn your back like that, though. You got your ass back there. Bone shield. Next season, you won't see the last what effects shield? until you do a 10, right? Uh, I don't know about that. I don't think it's is a 10. Uh, maybe. I don't, I'm not sure. Watch your feet. I find the pull with the walking one and the mobs behind it really hard. Yeah, this is a very tough dungeon to tank. Playing PTR without the extra fix has been so refreshing. I was on the fence of removing affixes from the game, but I'm leaning towards removing them from the game. Ah, yeah, they're not going anywhere, man. <laughs> but now we keep having these <laughs> they same are discussions. Part of the game. <laughs> yeah, they're not going anywhere. The whole system I can would pull be... this, innit? Uh, no, wait for the Ravenger now. We want to get the Ravenger alone. Okay, we're good. Just taunt Two, this thing and one. kill this single. This mob is very dangerous for everybody but you. So it does seem like you might be able to pull it at times, but it has to be a great week for it. Fortified Sanguine is not the week. The next thing we're going to get is those patrolling dogs, and we have to make sure that they're in between the two packs that they're running from. You see how there's basically three packs in the way of them? You want you got to yeah. catch them in between two of the packs. So not when they're resting on the left side or walking through the middle, but in between that. And all you got to do is just taunt or grip or something. You don't need to do anything special. Three, two, one. Okay, yeah, like where you're facing is where you want. Yeah, perfect. Okay, great. Just get right on them. Rune weapons up. These mobs are very dangerous for you as a tank because they put a stacking bleed on you. The longer you're in combat with them, the more dangerous they get. So you want to try to save like one major CD for the end of them. So we have ice bound up. We can use that now. That bleed oftentimes kills me while I'm out of combat. And you may also find that happening here. Luckily, the bleed reset right at the last second. Okay, cool. So now we're pulling the side packs. There's three casters in this pack, so we need heavy interrupt attention. We want to exhaust all of our different ways to interrupt spells. Three, two, one. Watch your feet. Grip, grip the mobs out of sanguine. Oh. Close. Alright, not going middle yet. We want to wait for bloodlust. Get to the other side first. I guess it, I probably Jix is handling bloodlust, but yeah, we're going to lust on this pack here for timer. If you're magic here as well, so you can aim us. Otherwise, just make sure you're interrupting on these packs and stopping them with stuns and grips and stuff. Three, two, one. Alright, so we'll lust here, hopefully. In this case, you have two casters on the side, so yeah, good. You want to try to grip in the middle. We're going to have another sentinel. He's going to hit you. When you hear that sound, be ready. You're going to take a ton of damage right now. Uh, looks like you parried it, so that's really good. And then be ready with Sanguines coming up. You should room up in here. Try to move the casters out of Sanguine. You can parry Shellbreaker, yep. Yeah, it doesn't Three, apply the damage to you, obviously, two, either. One. Like the damage taken debuff. Pretty much the only way I survived most of the times I try to do this on higher keys. If you get hit by two, you're pretty much dead when you pull the whole room. Alright, great. So boss time. This is a very easy boss to tank. 
just a recommendation is to uh, use slappy ends on the pole and then save it for one of the waves of ads. Makes getting the ads way, way easier. Big thing when the ads come out is you want to just find the big guy and just make sure you taunt and establish threat on him. The other ones you want to get threat on, but realistically, you don't need to get threat on them. But the big guy does. You need to get threat ASAP. Perfect. All right. And then once you have threat on him, you can start gripping in the casters. The rest of the mobs just jump around anyway, so. Hey, Griffin, what's up? Welcome. And then the next time you do that phase, you'll have slappy hands for it, and that just makes it totally like a joke. Yeah, slappy hands just makes it, yeah. Because then not only does it grip them, but it establishes threat for you. One. It's dying so fast, you won't have it. Did he get a 20 done? Oh, he's gotten many 20s done now. Yeah, this is like our 6th or 7th key above 20. Start gripping the casters. London gangsters say you want to slap, mate. Do they? I don't know how many London gangsters you've met, but Three, I've met quite a few. Two, and they never say that. One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've heard that either, actually. Three, two, <laughs> one. Okay. Weird part of the dungeon here, we're going to go boss to boss. Like, the next pull is another boss as well, so... Sometimes you want to think about saving CDs, but it doesn't really matter. Now this boss is going to drop the puddles. We want to be all stacked up for those, and we want to move uh, only enough to keep people out of the puddles. The goal is the tank is to be close enough to the adds when they spawn. Wait for the druid, wait for the druid, wait for the druid, wait for the druid. Where is he? I have no idea. He's just look at the main map. Watching the cutscene, I guess. Gargoyle. Well, yeah. <laughs> what's, he, what's the cutscene for? Oh my god. Always the druid. They yeah, never do anything. Like, I mean, like, legitimately, like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how much more evidence we need, but... Anyway, yeah, so just um, stay together and then try not to move um, too much. Like, you want to basically be on the side where the ads are going to spawn so you could quickly hit them with blood boil when they come out. Okay, move a little bit now. And basically, like, position the boss so the group can still hit him, but you're Three, on the side where the ads two, are going to spawn now. One. And that that knockback you want to sorry you want to death advance that knockback my bad I didn't tell you that get close to the ads 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 drop D and D on them blood boil you want to hit them with your spells so they get knocked back basically this first set we want to not move at all you need to make sure you're not standing in the puddle though okay all right new set of bubbling fissures now we're gonna move further and position the boss like you need to be on the other side of the boss the boss needs to be on the side of the dps and you need to be on the other side move the boss move the boss move the boss move the boss get him out of the puddle and now flip flip your direction so you're on the other side okay good and now when the ad spawn Three, drop D and and be ready to blood one. boil them just don't stand in the puddle while you do it My everything's dying so fast it doesn't even matter Okay, here it comes. So get close to him and drop D&D. &D. Move from the puddles. You can aim us. Yeah, okay. Do you not see those puddles? I see it, but I don't know what... Tom Boss? I'm trying to get that... Sorry, I'm trying to teach you, like, advanced strategies on this boss, but if it's too hard for you, then just, yeah, just stay alive. 
but those adds get really, really, really complicated on higher keys, and as the Blood DK, we can destroy them, like, we can own them. SLB, what's up, buddy? Welcome. Can I your magic show this? Don't bother, just stay. Need it for the next pack. Someone died. No, they were already dead. They're waiting for the release because they believe it's faster. Or oh, that guy's just brain dead. He's going to fucking die and release anyway, so now he's going to run through it a second time. No fair compare to tank that fight. All right, you're going to grab this guy on the left and drag him over to that pack on the right. Wait for the healer. Just Three, don't, 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 stop, stop, two, stop, stop. Just fight this guy one. then while you have no healer. Run weapons up. All right, just forget about the other side. We'll just we'll just go this direction for now. Since this guy totally fucked us. Is he still not here? Like, what are we doing? Hey, Neo, what's up? You welcome. What's your feet? Yeah, that that direction. Happy to see his progress. Sweet, yeah, he's doing really well. Open with slappy hands, good. We're in, oh, okay. Three. Two, one. You gotta generate resources like ASAP. Going into a pack that low and not having defense up is like GG. You will die every single time as a blood DK. Start taunting. You gotta get threat on these things. Watch your feet. Three, two, one. Watch I mean, is feet. this guy just AFK? Like, do we have a healer? Watch I feet. fucking hate Resto Druids, dude. I'm so sick of this spec. It's so fucking unbelievable how every single Resto Druid you play with is just a joke. <laughs> Why is the Druid just AFK now? I, I don't know. I'm trying to remain calm. You can just keep pulling one pack at a time, Aaron. You'll be alright. So my heal AFK. He's back now, I guess. No idea. Didn't Who's even say in the team? chat. Yo, bro, Amazon parcel. <laughs> it's not just druids. What's I'm not team? saying that every single healer other than druid is good. I'm just saying that for some reason, a vast majority of people playing the spec are just totally antithetical to what progression content should be. Taunt the other watcher. 
You really got to start paying attention to threat, man. Like, luckily you have two people in this group who are willing to carry you. But if I was a melee and I died to threat every other pack, I would like I would not expect that person to stay. Three. Do not see two, it. Is that? Do we need to change one. the the later stuff? Um. So what is it I'm looking at for? So you see how the target you have has a white border on the frame? Yeah. That means you have threat on it. If the border is is red or yellow, that means you don't have threat on it. And I know most traditional player UIs have more distinct, like something more obvious, but I feel like it's way better to have the bar change color based on other things instead of threat. Because threat is something that's just like a, a given, like you need to have threat anyway, so you need to know. But obviously like another way to figure it out is like, is the mob attacking, visually attacking somebody else? Like. You're standing right next to it. You see it's hitting the demon hunter there. I don't know. Bad blood? Bad blood? Oh, okay. Three. What two, happened there? One. Batman. You just stopped pressing your spells again. Why is that happening? Death strike won't work in. You gotta use your CDs, bro. You can't keep going into the packs with CDs up and not using them. Like you're you're gonna just get slaughtered. Like blood decay is not that tank. You can't walk into a pack and not use CDs. It's, it's too flimsy to walk into a pack with no resources up and have CDs up and not use them. Use all your CDs right now. Burn weapon, vamp blood, slap ends, get threat, start taunting mobs individually. Watch your feet. I found changing the plater bar color based Watch on threat helps me a lot. Yeah, I didn't. Okay, cool. Fucking retard, man. Feet. I'm so... Do not do another key with the rest of the One. Gun, heart out or whatever. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Another one bites the dust. I think druids are some somehow deep in the we like to hot and get surprised when there's more buttons in rejuve. I just don't understand how it's happened. Like I really, I, I don't, I tried to get into the culture and then they come in and just like flame me in my chat. It's like the, the people who play this spec are actually like, there's something seriously wrong with them and I don't know how it's happened. I don't know if it's like whoever is the person who is the most vocal in the rest of druid community is a heavy influence on them or something. But it is, it's, it's actually scary. Like, the likelihood of getting a Resto Druid who actually cares about the key that he's in is so fucking low. It's really weird. I would... I'd rather a Resto Druid that didn't do no damage but healed and didn't go AFK. Well, it. yeah, besides the actual gameplay that's bad, they're also seemingly toxic as well, like bad people. I don't really understand what that's about now all of a sudden. Anyway, uh, if a preservation evoker were to rescue you to roughly your current location to use twin guardian rescue, protect you and your ally from harm, absorbing damage, would you mind? Uh, as long as he didn't move me, I wouldn't mind now. Oh, you should use that on a DPS instead of a tank. Usually tanks are going to have their survival planned out enough that they're not going to expect you to do that. Did the boys still want to come or? Yeah. Scar wait two seconds. Well, that's the thing, like, I don't... The whole meta thing, like, I don't really see that as meta. Like, I don't... I don't know. It's whatever. Um, I have a quota on how many times I tank as DPS for a day. I haven't hit it yet. <laughs> just be careful, though, dude. Like, you're also, you know, you're pulling so fast. Like, just give him a second. Like, he's trying. He just doesn't see threat. That's a bigger issue, obviously, but... Jungle Gym, what's up, buddy? Welcome. Not in that case, no. You had actually attacked it before he actually blood boiled, so... Um, Throne is rough on Fortified. It is, yeah, but made harder by a couple of silly things there.
the whole bar needs to change for threat, not just the outline. No, it doesn't. I played Resto Druid for a long time. You have to play wrong in Mythic Plus. People are playing the efficient theoretical way in low keys. Right. I, I mean, it's like not clearly not working. I don't know. <laughs> it's just weird. Like, I don't know how many demon or how many uh, druids could keep doing this and think like, oh, yeah, we're doing well. I mean, outline is hard to see. Not for me. That's what I'm saying. Sorry, bro. I need to go away. Um, no worries. Right, I'm back. I, I know what the problem is with my not using of the cooldowns. Okay. Basically, I don't watch this. I watch this. My head's down. I'm always looking here. I don't know why. Yeah. That's why like, you, you want to set up a good UI. Like, that's the reason to have a good UI in the first place. Just to help if you I could, see crucial information at the right times. If I could just train to watch this and know when these three are coming off, you know how much bone shield I've got just here. I will be sweet. It's just I look down here because that's what I'm used to, you know? Yeah. I only I, I only added this recently, even um, as a DPS, I only added this recently. I've never, I've never had that. Like, never. I've never had something like this. Okay. Well, I mean, that's, yeah. I mean, it doesn't, you could look at vamp blood on <laughs> down there too, though. I don't, right? Yeah. It's just about like, like, it's not even about seeing it though, dude. It's just about knowing like, oh, I just got hit for 75% of my health. You know, I should probably reflexively hit these CDs. Even, even if they weren't on cooldown, you should try to hit them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, this is blood decay. Like you can't walk into a pack and not use CDs. So. Do, do not. Say, I'm, no more. I'm not playing with another wrestler dude today. Am I bringing Augman? Uh, yeah. I mean, that guy's a little low, but if you think he's a good pick, you can. I mean, you have two good DPS, so it would be good to help them. And you get Bloodlust. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Because these two are having a DPS race anyway, so let's see. Yep. I was very against UI and Keybind Overhaul until my boyfriend forced it oh my god it was a thousand percent better yeah honestly i i did this back in bfa i turned off my bars for a couple sessions and just played with just the ui because the bars are there it's hard to turn them off but like they're not really there for that they're just there monk Healy, yeah yeah perfect should train himself by turning off bars in combat on a low key just to get used to it. Yeah, I would agree, but it's a pretty aggressive. It doesn't really matter. Like at the end of the day, we have so many other small mistakes happening that like I wouldn't really worry about just that. But just need to make sure that you're paying attention to the basics of tanking. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's that's like I've just I've just got to watch this, bro. When I'm fighting, watch this, bro. Like, not watch. Try and watch here, try and yeah. there. Because all my cooldowns are in, all my things that. So it's like I'm like, I'm like, up down, up down, and then I'm looking at. <laughs> yeah, and so that that's why I have my UI set up the way it is. Because like, what you want to be looking at is, like basically, there's like a probably like a fifty by fifty window in the middle of the screen that you need to be looking at at all times. You need to be looking at your yeah. health. You need to be looking at the enemy's health. And you need to be looking at your group and what's happening in the middle of the screen. And that is where you put weak ores. And that is where you put vital information. So that's why I have so much stuff to... That guy's not here, dude. Oh, yeah, he is. He's all, he's all the way back there. Anyway. Oh, uh, scared me, bro. Well, he's so far away. He didn't look like he was here. Sorry. <laughs> <One>. <laughs> but anyway. Um, yeah, just having all the vital information in a very tight window is... To me, it's invaluable. But... All right, good, much better. But so, like in that case, um, your CDs are going to give you bone shield. So at that, you need a hard strike at that point, so you can get a death strike off here early. Yeah. Because like you walking into that pack is dangerous as it is, and then on top of that, you're not getting any resources. Watch your feet. I get that one obviously way better. Keep interrupting. 
CDs are up. Watch your feet. Should have moved him. Yep. Yeah. yeah, preemptively moved, but whatever. It's just one to fix. Like I'm not gonna sit here and belabor over it too much. You'll get that over time. Have they ever dropped an alpha bill on a Friday? Usually it's a Thursday, so if they have to do any support, they can do it on Friday. But they have done PTRs and stuff on Fridays before, so it's possible that it still comes today for sure. In fact, I think actually the Shadowlands beta was a Friday, wasn't it? Because I remember my dad getting the pizza. That was the famous story about my dad getting the pizza. <laughs> pizza, yeah. Yeah, basically, like, um, move the sanguine. Uh, uh, my dad's only actual appearance on stream was he randomly went and bought pizza that he knew I liked for me during Lent or whatever when you're not supposed to eat meat. Oh, I but see. he didn't realize that I was eating only one meal a day, so he just <laughs> brought the pizza and in, walked into the camera and put it down on the bed. And then I was like, "All right, well, I need to take this downstairs because I'm not Three, eating it." <laughs> two, but yeah, one. either way, I think that was that was the day Shylands beta started. So, one memory. Yeah. Make sure you're giving the DPS access to the back of the mobs. Does that still actually matter? Can mobs still parry you as a DPS? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> That's like a wrath thing. Oh, bosses still can? Okay. Not trash, though. Interesting. So what, 71s or 72s? Probably only 72s, I guess. Three, two, one. Bruin weapons up. It's actually good to delay it a little bit there to make sure that we have it up for the shell. Okay, so you double parried the shell break. That's really, really, really nice. <laughs> if you had that happen and you were fighting the full pack, it would be huge. It was nice to double parry sang as well. Oh, yeah, it's huge. Three, two, one. Oof. <laughs> Didn't do it that time. <laughs> Does the timer depend on the affixes? More time with certain ones. Are we, am I, I don't know what that conversation is, sorry. By the way, is there a reason why some DPS insist on standing in front of the boss or mob? No. Oh, he's asking if the dungeon timer is different. No, yeah, they don't, the timer stays the same every week. All right, wait for the patrol just in case. All right, you good? Grip the two casters. Using a CDs becomes intuitive with time. Just make sure you get 10 stacks of bone shield when leaving combat. That's another thing. Yeah, if, you, if you're if you like going to walk from combat to combat, you can build up bone shield on the end of the previous pack, and then you won't have to worry about it at the start of the next pack. That's more of a yeah. legacy tip. That's like from Shadowlands, where it was really hard to maintain bone shields. But now with all the different CDs that give it, it's not really you don't really need to do that as much. Uh, you should wait, I think. Turn around. Yeah, wait for the Ravager. This really sucks, Wait, but go, right. yeah, unfortunately you have to. Ideally, you can grip both of them now. Yeah, good. And now line aside them. Perfect. That funnels the pack in way easier. Oh, I would have loved to have Tombstone for this.
Tombstone, Tombstone. There we go. Boom, look at that. DBS. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? It is nice, yeah. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Yeah, we had a good game on League, man. Yeah, we, we did. On, nah? yeah. Harry got... Jesus. Somehow the opposing AD carry stole his first buff <laughs> minion or whatever thing that he was trying to kill without him even realizing it was stolen. And then they just invaded on the other one, so he had no, <laughs> like, he had nothing. I'm going to wait for the. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, nah, no need to wait there. Any plans on going for the Dragonflight meta achievement? What is that? You mean like the dungeon meta achievement? Uh, I'll probably do it at the end of the expansion, maybe. I usually try to solo it at the end of an expansion. I still haven't yeah, finished no the... Books. I want it as well. Oh, yeah. I still haven't yeah, finished the BFA and the Shadowlands ones. There's a few dungeons that need more than one player, and I just don't really care to find a group for it. Oh, actually, it's a grand man, isn't it? Probably not. I'll come and do it with you if you're doing it. Another person, but figuring out how to pull this room well was a pain and it took a long time. Yeah, there's a lot. The patrol, like three patrols, basically, is really a huge pain. That was tight. Okay, you got it. Vamp blood, good. And then try to save Icebound and Lichborn for the end of this, just in case. He's talking about the Taivan reward meta achievement. Oh, I don't know why you would ask me that then. I assume he's talking about dungeon stuff. Icebound. Good. Watch your feet. Three. Okay. Watch your did, feet. Just didn't Two. use Lichborn or Rune up in there. Hey, Nathaniel, what's up, buddy? Welcome. What are we in combat with? When did they pull the pack? So I was that was my mistake. Oh. Oh, mate! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I, uh, I didn't pop room weapon. That's my fault. To be fair, yeah. I was I, I, I knew I should have, but I was saving it. <laughs> yeah, so those, those mobs are like... Two, at the end, like, one. we have 12 stacks of that bleed. Like, that's more dangerous than anything else in here, pretty much. Get threat on the Oracle. Blinding sheet. Good, yeah. Just try to interrupt, like, exhaust your grips and everything you have to interrupt as much as possible here. These mobs are very dangerous. This is, like, why Vengeance is strong this season, packed like this. Only the right pack, yep. Yo, I chuckled. What's he say? I assume cop like rolled into it or something like that. Something funny. I don't know how that pack got aggroed. Three. Would you use grippy hands now? Yeah. Eh, I would probably have saved it for the next pack since What's it's going to be harder, but. Watching this makes me wonder how I got over 2k rating on Blood DK. Why? Harry got it. Doesn't even have half the keys done. <laughs> 2k is very, very low. You can get that extremely. You can do that one week now. Bam, Blood's up. Watch Careful. Sanguine, good. Three, Keep moving two, from Sanguine, dude. One. Every time a mob's about to die, just start moving preemptively. I changed the last it in there. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep Watch moving, keep feet. moving. These big guys getting healing is so bad. Okay. A backpedal spin. <laughs> Watch 
2k in week one this season i remember because i got the token from the first reset yeah it's like literally the season's like very easy you don't need to know anything about anything you just just get after it <laughs> just get in there <laughs> yeah pretty much <laughs> just get in there bro yeah, see harry pretty much like skipped from whatever zero to 18 in one day I was I was um, telling my raid leader on classic here, yeah, if uh, one. maybe I can go tank for Qatar, but maybe it's best I don't tank. Why? <laughs> for raid bosses. A raid's Not... super easy to tank. I don't think you would even enjoy it, frankly. But very boring. All right, get ready. Slap bands is gonna be used on the ads when they come out. Okay. Yeah, right tanking. Super boring. Start gripping in the casters. Switching from Holy Pally to Blood DK and Raid was the beginning of me ending my time in raiding it. Let's put it that way. Oh, for real? Yeah. I mean, that was a big... Move out of these circles. That was a big part of, like, Three, how it, the two, fast, like fatigue one. of raiding started to really creep up. I used to love healing as a Holy Pally, and then I started to really dislike tanking as a raid, uh, tanking the raid as a bloody guy. Especially on fights where there was no use for death grip or other utility. Do you have to ta tank swap in raids? Yes. Uh, taunt this guy and then start gripping the casters. Three, two, one. I only watched Harry Time in 19 the other day and honestly was shocked based on his gear and level. So big grats. Yeah, no doubt. It's, you know, he's doing well. I'm not trying to say he's not, but it's like, it's actually remarkable how easy these keys are though. Because like that, I don't know, was it Black or Cold? One of them we had like 30 deaths in and we still upgraded it. <laughs> it's like, oh god, I don't know. Yeah. Now, oh yeah, and then the Black Rook 21 where you wiped twice to spiders and still upgraded it. Now this is where we struggled. Yeah, just, just focus on surviving here. We don't have to worry about the advanced stuff. I'm making this mistake of trying to like teach you advanced stuff, but the season's going away in three weeks, so no worries. Three, two, one. Upgraded. Oh, he upgraded like three twenty ones already. Yeah. I think one was like four forty item level, but yeah, most is like four sixty, closer to that. Just move it like way further than this, though, dude. Like, you see how close you are to that puddle? You gotta res that guy too. Do spells do things while you're doing? I was pressing death strike, it won't, won't uh, knock. Okay, so what do we need to change here, Harry? Like, I'm, I'm watching you not use any spells for like three or four seconds at three, a time sometimes. What's two, going on here today? I was one. I was tapping this. Well, it's not, you don't have runic power. You can't tap it. Like, do you not know that? What happened there? Yeah. I think I really, I really wish you would submit to a full UI change because I feel like this UI is absolutely holding you back right now. It's pretty bad. I know you don't like it, but like, yeah, you're not getting any information on your screen at crucial moments, it feels like. Yeah. Like, I guess you just don't see when you have enough running power to death strike now for some reason as well, so that makes it even harder. Um, all right, let's try again. Let's try yep, try again. again. You'll kill a boss, no problem, but. Yeah, it's not, not, maybe now you're even marrow running too often because now you don't. You're not generating enough runic power to death strike when you need it. Oh, is that what it is? I don't think that's what it is, but that could be part of it.
But yeah, you see that white bar on your runic power tracker? That's when you know you have a death strike. So if the bar is not past that white thing, then you can't death strike. But what I've grown accustomed to looking at is the health bar. And the health bar, Three, if you can two, see the white line, that means you can death strike. If you can't see the white line, it means you don't have enough runic power to death strike. It doesn't show up at all. So that's like a really nice visual indicator as well, because it's like a second thing that you can look at to see it. I'm just not using my death track. Well, like, I think you're just like haphazardly hitting spells at for some reason today, where yesterday you were quite precise with them. Um, but like, yeah, you're just like trying to use spells that you don't have access to, Two, or you're not using key one. CDs when you need them and stuff. So just got to get back to focusing on the basics of the spec and you'll be right. You played really well yesterday with it. Stand the white area. So you see how that like lit up area? That's where you want to stand. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Right. Okay, so grab the watcher on the left and then aggro it over. Make sure you taunt it and then establish threat on it. Good. And then grab that over and pop everything over here. This is going to be a lot of magic damage, so you can AMS early here. Keep bone shield high and then stop using marrow end after that. Move from Sanguine. Rune weapons up. Three, two, one. Really, we got to the boss that I struggle with yet. Uh, it's fortified a week, so I don't. Don't worry about bosses this week, I wouldn't say. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Okay, grab this, get threat, and make sure you're establishing your health, and then grab that other mob too. Death Strike here. Okay. Rune weapons up. Be a lot of sanguine to be thinking about shortly, so start thinking about it now. Sanguine, sanguine. Just keep moving from this big guy gets healed at all. We're fucked here. Watch your feet. your feet you can grab these establish threat establish your health pool and then grab the next two you'll need to grip both of them individually okay grab them and move out of that line sanguine watch your feet
just grab these two for now. Normally we'd pull this with the pack behind it, but with Sanguine it's going to be way too messy. I mean, that's that watch your feet thing, Pax. He has it, he just doesn't... It's, it's not even about it being in Sanguine. It's about knowing that the mob's dying, and that's the thing that we're not making much progress on, but... Like I said, the next time we play this tank, there won't be Sanguine, so it doesn't really matter. What? Right, they're taking Sanguine away? It's just not going to be here next week. It's a different oh. affix. Okay, let's get moving. Timer's pretty tight here now after that wipe. go boss every time he drops a totem you need to kite him over to the totem and then use one major CD during it so instead of using our CDs on on like cooldown here we're gonna save them each time they can use room weapon dodge this Three, two, one. Damn blood now. AMS. Go to totem. Ah, uh, popped. Move. Three, two, one. Move away from that. Sorry, I thought you knew that. I guess it doesn't actually make you run away. You just get feared in place, so that's not even a problem. You can also AMS it, so you don't have to actually run. Use your speed Pops. boost. What? I've got go and I. That's fine. My leave once my strength has returned. Proceeds. <laughs> yeah, if everybody actually stayed in attack, nobody would have had to hide there. Okay, again, there's going to be lots of magic damage, so we could pretty much open with Vamp Blood and AMS. Slap your hands now. Try to interrupt the Aqua Mages Three, if possible, otherwise just two, stay on the sentry. One. going to be a lot of concern with Sanguine here as well, so keep an eye on the uh, the, the elites near you. Okay, those, uh, those are dying. We need to move from Sanguine. Don't go that way. Try not to go that direction, though, because there's more trash that direction. Watch your feet. Any more sanguine to contend with here? Second. Okay, perfect. All right, run into the middle and grab all the stuff, and then come back. Oh, not that one. Not that one. Just the stuff, and come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Blood boil it. Like you, you didn't actually do anything. You just walked up there. 
the goal is to get this and then clear the stack before the big guy comes, two, but that's definitely not going to happen, so we're going to... Actually, all right, he doesn't pad that far. Okay, good. Now you can go and pull that big guy. Just make sure you do not aggro the gill goblins. Wait, 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 wait. All right, you're good. Grab big guy. Burn weapons up. Just battle res that guy. Ugh, fucking released. God, I hate this dungeon. You gotta run back to the start now. Run back to the start. Okay, is he there? Alright, good. Just make sure he doesn't die to these things and we gotta keep moving. Go, go, go. Go forward. Hey, now. Yep. Stop them. Stop the casts. Again, anytime you see a pink cast bar, it's extremely dangerous. Three, two, Blinded one. Sheep. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Okay. Keep going. These are not needing to die, but... Three, two, one. Sanguine with fortified mobs is just a bad week, yep. Sanguine's tough, but once you get used to moving preemptively, it gets a lot easier. Like, now you should move. You see how, so in that case, like, one mob was rooted by casting, and the other one wasn't, and you, you didn't move there, so now it just healed, like, just added, like, 20 seconds to the dungeon because of that. Those are the small decisions that you're pretty much constantly having to make with this fix. Three. Two, one. We can do this. You have to get those turn around. Oh, no, I guess we got them already. Yeah, okay, good. Should be all right as long as there's no death this fight. Yeah. Make sure you turn this boss away. The frontal, uh, the breath is a giant frontal, so you need to make sure you're not hitting others with it. And your main job on this fight is taunt the boss, taunt the boss, taunt the boss, taunt the boss. Your main job on this fight is picking up the trash. So I'll be saving slappy hands and death grip for the casters. There's going to be five mobs that come out, three small slimes that are inevitably going to hit DPS first, and then the two casters. The casters are the things we need to grip. So go ahead and grip them. Yeah, perfect. Good. The three small blobs are the things that drop the puddle. The casters don't. So once you have the blobs killed, you're good to stop moving there. Next time we have ads, we'll use slap hands for it. Here it comes now. Go ahead and press slap hands. Perfect. Spicy knife, what's up, buddy? Welcome. Hey, Metro, is there a certain way I need to import your player profile? No. Probably just an error with you copy and pasting it. Three, two, one. Or, or this actually happened when I try to give it to Harry. Don't get baited into thinking there's an error. What are you doing? So, careful, careful. Stay near the boss. Stay near the boss. 
You can't run away from bosses that are rooted. Okay, good. But anyway, um, when I gave it to Harry, it, it looks like an error is being said, but it's just because it's something yeah. I, that never got uploaded to um, whatever website that is. And so players like, I don't know. Like, I don't, yeah, it's not an actual error. It's just saying something that looks like an error. Cool. All right, well, you got it done. 20 in time. Even with the full wipe on a boss, so... That's another portal for you. The so Og was only at like 150k overall. Oh yeah. Yeah, low key Ogs. Probably not, not the best players, but at least he brought below us. Amazing what happens when you have five players. Yeah, when you have a healer who actually tries to improve the key. Black crew code. Black crew code again. Yeah. All right. What do we need? Big ones are Waycrest. DHT no. is gonna fucking kick your ass this week, so we'll avoid that. But yeah, Waycrest and Atal are the two that you need the most right now. This series got me to start pushing keys and learning the couple of dungeons I've been avoiding this season. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a big habit to break. Like, avoiding even one dungeon is going to just make it impossible to ever get into any pugs. Yeah, what do you want to do next? Uh, we're going to have to do the 21 black gold, don't we? Cool. I mean, just, can't just really pug. No, no. But we've really, done yeah. a 21 black root card, though. That's the thing. No, I know. I mean, you can try to do one of their keys. I don't remember what everybody else has, but. <laughs> cool. Blood Death Knight's insane, bro. Jix is linked to that because of how little Sanguine did there, thanks to the talent he has. Oh. Did we upgrade the throne? Yep. Cop has fall. The only thing is, we might end up just having to do this key anyway. Right, like I would just do it, yeah. Yeah. Did Was the boys involved or? Yeah. Oh. I think if you look directly at how much Sanguine did, then I did that much extra DPS. Yeah, that's honestly pretty much the way it is, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> nice. Another tank. I'm just running transmog runs and some old raids. They're a treasure trove of wild content in this game. People just forget about it. Yep. That's why I said I love transmog collecting, because it, it literally makes you like play every single piece of content in the game. Like, not even just raids. Like, you know, you'd have to PvP, you'd have to do islands, you'd have to do, you know, fucking war fronts. Like, every single piece of content the game offers some kind of transmog, so. Quests, like quests from TBC, you know, have unique transmogs, it's crazy. We lost cop. Oh, cop left. I gotta Place go it, AFK yeah. for a minute. Gotta check something. All right, yeah. So you'll do one without him, I guess.
On the holy. Yeah, you can get take him if you want. I would probably take the evoker, but I oh, know we have a resto shaman. Blast. Yeah, good. Okay. Red Paladin. Yeah, it's a good comp. Whoa! With the Whoa. legendary. He's bro. got the legendary. Two people probably. I'm sure the DK has it as well. Pretty much everybody but me has it. So. Yeah. Oh my god, the DK does have it, bro. Yeah. That makes it hard to keep aggro on these guys, isn't it? Mm, I don't think so. It's not like it does burst damage. This man's a Colterus. Oh, that's a big issue. Instant kick, nah? <laughs> I would, honestly, yeah. This is probably a viewer, I guess. Got tank trinkets on. No, please don't tell me he has. Wait, that, yeah, the rage heart is a tank trinket, but... I guess some DPS might use it, but I don't think they would use it in low keys. DPS where? Go... Even for low keys, really? Is he gonna go blood halfway through when I die? <laughs> yeah. I imagine they will make the transmog acquisition changes in the pre-patch. Oh yeah, all the stuff that's not related to being level 80 or whatever it's gonna be is all pre-patch, so pretty much like 90% of the stuff that I'm excited about is coming in the pre-patch. The rep changes, uh, the hero talents, although I guess we won't actually be able to do anything with the hero talents, but we'll know everything about Five, them by then. Four, three, and then obviously two, the uh, one. those uh, transmog and, and stuff, the account-wide stuff. What's that? Uh, we're just talking about what, what's what. Oh. Um... I don't know what your question was, sorry. Small around Trinket and Everbloom Trinket are BIS for Havoc by far, though. Gotcha. Lego damage can steal aggro, but it's more on the DPS to wait for the tank to gain enough threat. Yeah, I just didn't think it. I mean, it's not like it does like a big burst of damage or something like that, so I didn't think it would really be a factor. Alright, Sanguine coming up here. So this one, like, you've done a bunch now, so I'm going to try to be less hands on about this and see how it goes. Watch your feet. It's like the answer is not well. <laughs> Watch your feet. We lost a lot of people. Yep. Watch your feet. You probably want to move out of Sanguine. Sorry, I can't not say that. <laughs> oh, that this pack is it, it, is massive. I know. Was it you who backpedaled into the other pack, or I didn't see it happen? Nah. One of the big issues you're having a lot now with Sanguine is you're like constantly moving the pack forward for some reason instead of behind, and this is causing all of these issues that you're running into where people are pulling extra trash. This happened like probably like six or seven times now since we started this week. So this is a pack that you wouldn't you wouldn't have done. Watch your feet. You somebody aggroed the second part of it, that's what I'm saying. Normally you do the first pull with Bloodlust, and then obviously wait, and then do the second pull after that. But because of the way you were kiting the Sanguine, it was either you or somebody else got too close to the, the next pack, and that aggroed too. We know this place. You can, you can, 
buy loads and still yeah it's down. definitely a not a very tight timer but you should definitely practice at getting better at sanguine for sure oh that whole yeah, so I'm saying, like, you came up here to kite the first pack sanguine. So either you or somebody else aggroed it when you when you did that, and I don't, Three, I didn't see it because I turned two, away for a second. One. Well, at least we cleared it all. Yeah. Eleven deaths. Not. It's honestly not even that surprising. So that's fine. It's not a big deal. No levers. No, there's no reason to leave over that. That's not even that big of a mistake. Basically, slave slappy hands. You don't want to threaten the boss currently? Oh my god. Yeah, slappy hands is good to try to elongate the middle phase, but. It's another one of those like advanced strategies. I haven't got really power for it. Three, two, one. Okay, you can grip another one though. Make it... That one got gripped through the boss. That's not great. Oh, what? Is that bad? Yeah, that's really bad, but it shouldn't be a problem on four or five week. Basically, if the ads reach the boss, they empower his burst there. Three, two, and uh, obviously, more than one. Oh, Chicks is doing the, oh, is this... is doing the hunter <laughs> thing where he's crafting. <laughs> Crafting heirlooms in the middle of the key. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Is he fighting with heirlooms? <laughs> <laughs> we had like a legendary <laughs> clip in the end of BFA where a hunter's bow broke in the middle of the... in the middle of a fight and he crafted an heirloom and finished the fight with the heirloom. But heirlooms are like eye level like 30, so it's like he basically not even... It's bad a... enough, you know. Obviously, you can't use your, you can't use your spells without it. So you're right. But did you feel that earthquake? No, it wasn't even close to us. <laughs> you're not allowed to wee halfway through, are you? What do you mean in a dungeon? Yeah. No. You hold that in. <laughs> you go in between keys. Understand now. You, you that transmog is cool now. as fuck. You Torrin is looking better and better each expansion, I feel like. I'm going to probably do a Torrin leveling challenge soon because I really want to get that weapon that they have. Peacock. Hey, they're in the stream, Metro. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see how you handle this. Right, right, right. I haven't got what I need. Yeah, AMS, that's all you really need. AMS now. The AMS there just prevents you from getting the stacks, and that's all you really need. The vamp blood is there to help potentially Three, mitigate any two, actual damage you take one. and make the uh, vamp the AMS larger. So if you get stacks on the way up, because the problem is you won't make it all the way up here. Like you're stopping halfway through, and that's fine, I guess. But typically you'd want to come all the way up here, and it's too long of a run to have AMS up for 100% of it. So that's why I like to try to let those first two or three spiders that are on their own down there hit you once or twice and then pop vamp blood after that so you'd mitigate all the damage done by that debuff and you wouldn't take any additional on the way up so you did it again kind of randomly moving into packs taunt the mob that you don't have threat on three two one watch your feet Nah, I meant to pull these though. 
Gotcha. <laughs> Honestly, like, oh, I... yeah. I know some weeks you, you should definitely combine that spider and with the next stuff. Ready to move from Sanguine? No, don't do that. You grip the mob that. Basically, like the mob that's low, you want to leave there, and then Three, the mob that's not two, low, you want to move it. One. Okay, we're on the Arcanist here. Make sure we're interrupting. Watch your feet. Sanguine. I guess like that's probably another problem for you then. Like if you're not actually you're not actually looking at their health much, are you? Um Like when I tank I wish there was like an easy way to do this in real life. Like good. I wish there was an easy way to do this in real life. Like if I could show you what my eyes are looking at Three, during combat, two, I think it would change one. like it would really help people learn. But like literally, even now, I'm just straight up staring at their health. That's the only thing I'm looking at. What? Yeah. Everything else would be muscle memory for me and good UI placement. Bro, you don't even want to know what I'm looking at. <laughs> well, no, I, I mean that's why that's what I'm saying. Like that's why you're struggling so much with Sanguine because you're not ever looking at their health. Like I have to tell you the mobs in Sanguine, which is hugely like that's. Yeah, that's the really, 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 really bad effects management. Watch your feet. You can get an eye tracker add-on. How? What is it? What is it? Hook up to your glasses yeah. or something? Two, one. Nah, uh, webcam. Webcam? What? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it it will uh, thingy on your webcam. Then I bet there's probably like a configuration you have to do first. I get it. Okay. Ask Dow. He'll know. He knows more about it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Bro, maybe I'm just born to be a DPSer. No, this would be the same. This you'd have just as big of a problem with this as DPS and anything. You're born to be a bad UI user. That's the big issue. Like you need to get over this and start using proper UIs using like functional UIs, things that can help you play better. That's literally like from the start, that's been our biggest issue is just refusing to use tools Three, that will help us get better. Two, one. Hey, size and somebody welcome. your feet. Three, two, one. Maybe another thing that's not obvious too is like that mob that was that you were like fiddling with that archer, it's not in your death strike. It's not in your heart strike range. So that's another reason like you're having problems with threat. Like in order to establish threat on mobs, you have to be able to hit them with heart strike. Heart strike cleaves, and whenever you put death and decay down, it cleaves even further to more targets. So like in that case, and what you should have did, you should have gripped that mob closer to you, because otherwise you're not hitting it with any of your spells. Yeah. Heart strikes here now. Don't press it as much. No, I know, but just in general, like your pack management is causing the threat issues. At the end of the day, like 
You want to keep everything close as possible to guarantee that it all gets hit by Blood Boil and Heart Strike every time you use the spells. Here comes the ads. Three, two, one. No sanguine on the ads. No, luckily no. Only trash itself drops sanguine. If boss enemies drop sanguine, oh my god, that'd be so hard. <laughs> Don't give him any ideas. <laughs> nah, that's... They have already had the idea, and they elected not to do it, obviously. You cannot escape it's interesting Fuck to see that, that people still don't know that they can just jump in place with the laser. Now, apparently that got fixed. I got told I got fixed. I don't know for sure, though. Surprised you haven't gotten a kick tracker. Nah, I don't think you would even look at it. It'd be nice for me, I guess, but... Kick tracker is nice when you're fully optimizing interrupts, but that's not happening already. Alright, here comes the patrol, get ready. Watch your feet. When I say get ready, I mean like turn your camera and face it so it doesn't melee DPS. Deputy Dog, what's somebody welcome? opens up watch your feet I got more trash turn around and get it ash can with somebody long time to see how you been slap your hands slap your hands watch your feet move the mobs out of sanguine you gotta start cutting backwards. You can't keep Three, cutting this direction. You're gonna two, just keep pulling more and more trash. One. Watch your feet. Okay, grab the rest of it. Just keep going for, forward here. Icebound or uh, whatever. CDs, use CDs, use CDs. Rune weapon. All right, grab these and that's it. Get threat on the mobs you pulled. Three, two. Took a short while break. Time to get back into tanking for season four. Yeah, it's fast approaching. It's another small mistake I've seen you make every time we do this dungeon. You keep like keeping your body right next to that wall, and there's enemies in there, so you keep aggroing those too. We don't actually need those for the route. Yeah. <laughs> um, always good to uh, go over to cam. Be sure, you know. Maybe in an unsanguine week, I would agree with you. <laughs> I think if there was a way to do it easily, you would just skip this hallway in Sanguine Weeks. 
Yeah, bro. Three. We can two, skip this hallway one. with uh, Invis. There's just not enough count in the dungeon. I don't think. I don't think you can actually do that. And no matter what you pulled. Watch your feet. Okay, this pack's gonna hit really, really hard. So be ready with all CDs up. Oh. Someone ninja forward. Move from Sangwing. Three, two, one. Yeah, I wonder if you actually pulled the entirety of both first hallways. How much count would you have? That's interesting. No one checked it. I mean, I don't. Most people probably don't have these kind of issues that. Like this hallway in higher keys is probably not difficult for people, but in the pug world, it's a mess. Harry is master of the stairs. I've never seen anybody do it better with a worse camera setup. That's crazy. <laughs> You gotta carry some air. Huh? <laughs> Should be going up the stairs with this mob. Try to fight two of these at a time. I've always wondered what do you actually think of dragon riding as a Three, new way of flying? It's two, amazing, yeah. One. Probably one of the most creative decisions they've ever added for their game. And the big thing that I love about it is it has made travel a part of the skill like element of the game. Like you can't just the reason I've always hated flying in the game was because it allows people to just skip all the content in the world with, by just like AFKing. Like, you just fly way up over it and never even look at it, let alone interact with it. Dragon riding actually forces you to like pay attention and care where you're traveling. Watch your feet. So even if you're not on the ground interacting with stuff, at least you're still actually playing the game. Like, you're pressing buttons. You have to not be AFK to dragon ride, you know? That's the best part about it is it's actually like somewhat engaging travel for the first time in many 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 years really it's like classic and then any islands like mop where there you're not allowed to fly two, or something like that that's the one. only time travel has ever actually mattered last time like good travel's been anywhere was probably the isle of thunder i love that travel is a more active thing now yeah didn't have much time to catch you live for a while, but the VODs with Harry have been awesome. Reminds me of the videos with Cop and Shadowlands. Yeah, sim similar. You know, obviously this is very similar to that. Different starting point. Harry's played the game a ton, just never really tanked. Well, I mean, so is Cop, I guess, but yeah. Different, different reasons they're struggling, but yeah. Hope that Three, it's educational as well. Two, I feel like there's a lot of one. potential educational value for these. I'm just looking at feet, bro. Well, turn your camera then. Why do you do that? Like, you're, you're missing key interrupts because of this terrible camera position. See, like, this is something that Cop had a lot of trouble with, too. Like, as the tank, you need to be constantly manipulating your camera to be able to give yourself the window that you need to survive, like, to see what's happening, you know? If you're just choosing to not look at it, you're just getting less and less info on the screen. I like that we can dragonfly in old areas. Oh yeah, that's some um, I don't I don't see myself ever using honestly, but I'm sure a lot of people love it. Like those continents were designed with regular Three, flying, so they're already fast two, to navigate. One. I did like a no dragon riding leveling challenge in Dragonflight a couple months ago, and it really makes things like wow. You realize how big those zones are. Travel from one side of Azure Span to the other without dragon riding is an experience. Like it's really a while. <laughs> it's like it's like classic. It really is. Do you know what? No, I was so when I when it first come out, Dragonfly. And obviously, I was playing on EU, yeah, and um, I couldn't get to grips with the dragon riding. Um, uh, I, my dragon was always running out of steam and I was like just going to the floor Three, and two, it weren't till one. I got all the glyphs you know the 
gold things that I could actually dragon ride. Yeah, that's yeah. I mean, that's intentionally designed that way on Blizzard's front. Obviously, they want people exploring the world, so that's how they did it. <laughs> Tub says he still can't dragon ride. <laughs> How's it going, Tub? <laughs> yeah, Tub, Tub knows, bro. All right, Tub, tell them on a scale from one to ten when you used to watch me dragon fly, how bad was it? Tub will tell you because Tub used to watch me. Bro, I, it used to annoy people in the other Discord <laughs> how bad it was. Tub says one out of ten. <laughs> one out of ten, bro, and that's generous. Three, two, one. Watch your feet. I think I've seen you backpedal in the trash more than I've ever seen anybody do it, and we've no. only been doing, we've done like five streams together. It's pretty weird. No, 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 I meant to do that one, though. Well, why would you do it now and not when you pulled it the first time? Like, as a tank, you don't want to be doing this. This is how DPS lose their CDs sync. Like, you want everybody to pull and do all the things at the same time. So if you're just going to, like, constantly keep chaining packs together, then nobody's ever going to be able to keep their CDs in rhythm. This was a huge, huge issue back in Legion because of the pre-potting. Now that there's no such thing as pre-potting anymore, it's not as big of a deal. You can get away with it more. But it's still really unhealthy for managing the pace of the dungeon. After this, we're going to tap out on the threat thing. Hopefully this will help you, but I'm not sure you're even looking at the health bar, so I don't know how much it will help regardless. Watch your feet. Three, two, one. Watch your feet. Gotta wait for the Paladin. He'll be almost back by now, but yeah, he didn't. He chose to not release. What should people are not releasing? It probably would have been faster if the healer didn't die there, but then when the healer died, the Paladin realized that he should release. But then the healer onked, so added layers <laughs> to the problems. Ah! You alright? Chick says the chain pulling is getting me killed blade dance because I don't know the fresh mobs are coming, yeah. Yeah, that that's definitely not not ideal, tank wise. Pretty much want like definite breaks, like here's everything we're gonna fight. Okay, a couple seconds of combat, you know, traveling in between combat. Next big pull, couple seconds, next big pull. Nah, because the main thing is, like, people are going to use their CDs based on the combat they're in. So if it's unpredictable, then they, they aren't going to use their CDs. Or they'll use them, like, wildly and end up not having them for times where they might need them more. But, like, for example, yeah. you were, say, say, like, in that case there, you had, uh, there's eight mobs, eight packs of mobs in that, uh, eight pulls of mobs in that area, okay? So you pulled four out of the gate. Then there's another, I guess there's ten. So anyway, there's, you pull four out of the gate. Then you pull two, okay? 
So at that point, if you stayed with two and didn't chain pull it, people would look at that as a time for their CDs to recharge. And then the next time you'd pull all six and you would, everybody would use their CDs, right? But because you pulled two and then it's 50%, you pull two more and then you pull, go pull two more. It's like, you know, like nobody has any rhythm of when you're fighting dangerous packs. And the game being played the way it is now, people don't just use their CDs on cooldown anymore. So they need to know when the danger is coming and the way you help them with that stimuli is by giving them time in between each pack to assess what's coming next. Yeah. When did we blow us? What, during the <laughs> intermission phase somebody blow us? <laughs> I'm not going to say nothing. Chain pulling I'm is a pet peeve for twist. sure, especially bolstering and sanguine weak. Three, yeah, I mean, sanguine two, didn't come into one. play there, but it definitely doesn't help with bolstering as well, obviously. I think they, I think the guy just lusted, like it probably happens a ton, like people lust at the start of the phase, even though he's about to go into the intermission. Oh, he got legs. No. Oh, he, he already had legs, yeah. This those, one, need this. those ones are actually better. You should put those ones on. Oh. What's the key? I like my thick, cold tier in Metro. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do. It is people from the stream. Yeah. I appreciate you guys trying to help them, but like, if it's just like a full group of people carrying them, that's not really accomplishing the goals here, so... Throne of Tides, we're not we're not trying to do that, mate. Well. I mean you could try to start pugging. <laughs> um do you want ring of concept, haste versatility? Yeah. What's your crafted ring? Eye level? Oh, four seventy six. Uh yeah, I mean I guess you just replace that one, it's a small upgrade. What is haste better than? I actually, it's probably not even an upgrade. I, I don't know. You're losing so much of the two stats. You, I don't know. It's up to you if you want yeah. to take it. Yeah, but... no, it's, it's a small upgrade. It's uh, might as well not. Let not worth it. Um, yeah. Um, right. So I will put them legs on. Because um, we don't want to do a throne of tides again, do we? Really? Up to you. You could try to start pugging. Yeah, do you have enough to craft another pair of... We should craft the boots, too. Do we have 60? Oh, we do. All right. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. Why is it raining, bro? That's what happens. What do you mean? Why is it raining? 6.4% <laughs> of overall damage is the tank trinket. Gotcha. I just didn't think the actual tank trinket... Like, I thought the reason it was a good trinket was because it has defensive value as well as offensive value. But is the offensive value better than other offensive trinkets? Oh, okay. So it's like actually better than actual offensive trinkets. That's interesting. So did you want to craft the item or? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah focus yeah. on that for now. Get that item upgraded. Wait. You have, you have to, to. You have to go buy the thing first from down here. So when I was wearing it on the PTR, it was actually a good idea. I guess so. I had no idea that it would be better than actual DPS trinkets. Has he ever heard of a guy named Will Osprey? Who, Harry? You are in for a treat. Jonas says, thank you for the key. First time I've been in a stream key. Sweet man, thanks for the help. Enchanted right. Shadow Flame Crush. Uh, Aspects Dreaming Crest. And again, I can craft the boots for you, so we can do that together. Do you do keys with the viewers, Metro? I don't, like, explicitly go out of my way to do keys with the viewers, but yeah, I'm always happy to have people come to the keys I'm doing. Let us. Hmm. <clears throat> 
need an enchanter? I guess, yeah. If you can... Well, no, it can't be done cross-realm, right? Did we talk about this yesterday? Not really sure how it works. Harry's accent is making me want to rewatch the in-betweeners. He doesn't have any Sound embellishments now. Like we'll them. get him on the boots. What is that? I don't sound nothing like the in-betweeners. No. It's actually kind of... I don't know. This... I guess it doesn't bother you, but if I had a very, very unique accent like you do and people constantly just said like random shit accents that aren't even remotely similar to my accent, it would trigger me so bad. Be so like, shut the fuck up. I don't sound like that. Nah, what I get a lot is Harry Potter, man. Oh, really? All just for that same reason, I guess, because nobody knows just what cause England I'm... is. Just because my name is Harry, isn't it? So it's just uh, all okay. the time, like... But he's the most famous kid in the world, like. And he's yeah. a badass. You can't be you can't be compared to no one worse. <laughs> that guy's the man, bruv. No one can sit here and say Harry Potter's not the man, you know? Uh, Daniel the Radcliffe. Boy lived, bro. You're right. It's a cool story. I like the story. So I take it you don't like the Harry Potter films? I don't dislike them. It's just not... That's not my kind of fantasy. That's like kid fantasy, I feel like. Yeah, but they did start getting dark, though. Yeah, no doubt. I figure out where Daniel Radcliffe's from. My Hammersmith. Oh, yeah, he's from London. So that's why. Another reason, then, I guess, because he's probably got a similar accent. No, you don't sound nothing like me, that geezer. It's weird how London has so many different accents, isn't it? Yeah, London has got a lot of different accents, though. Here we go again. Hello, mate. <laughs> My favorite part. I hope you feel like <laughs> James, what's up, buddy? Welcome. Oh, right. Personal orders aren't cross-realm, and I have a feeling Harry isn't on the same RP server as I am. Now he's on Dollar. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> <laughs> RP server, what are you doing there, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I swear there was like uh, back in Goldshire in the farm ass. Where's the ass with the farm? There's a lot of RP going on, a couple questionable things, nah? Yeah, it's more than one questionable thing happening there. In Goldshire. <laughs> <laughs> that's, on, that's on a very specific realm here, though. <laughs> oh, mate. Wait, what boots am I trying to buy here? Uh, well, you have to get the enchanted thing first, and then I'll help. I'll help you craft them. All right. So if you want to do another key while you wait or something, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harry sounds like he's from the north part of London. I'm North London. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Um. Looking for PvP carry in the Mystic Plus dungeon <laughs> section. Like, what? What the fuck are these people, man? I mean... What key... Did uh, the demon on He wanted to stay in it, so what key did he have? He didn't, he, he didn't have the full, did he? No, that was Cobweb Fall, yeah. Another thing is you can join a key of the same level, and as long as you upgrade it, you can uh, change it at the end of the dungeon. Uh, yeah, Jix also has black recalled, so. So we need to do a 22 then. Well, or you can just lower yours. Like, you don't. You I know, know what I mean? but thrown at the tides, mate. Like, oh. Yeah, I mean, it depends on. Like, I mean, if it was me, I would want the practice, but since the dungeons are leaving, I guess it's not really that important. What dungeon do you want the most? I guess is the question I have for you. We uh, maybe I should see if there's um like a bit of gear that I'm looking for, maybe in Elferus. Harry, mate, stay away from the Goldshire Inn on Moonguard. Trust me, I tried going there once on stream. The horrors, oh the horrors. What? Uh, how about a halls of infusion? Then you get a weapon or something. Are you joking or what? <laughs> I guess you're joking. Bro. Black Crook Hollow? It's, it's oh. hard to tell. <laughs> <laughs> the line of parody is hard with you. 
like, so you can't see the current season then. You're in the raid section. You gotta go to dungeons. Oh. Great app for me, bro. Oh, what well, mate? Why did it make it so complicated, like? Oh yeah, I don't. What is going on there? I don't even know. Maybe you can't. Right. I guess I've never looked. Where's the best weapon? Well, nah, bro. It don't even matter. You have like, the best weapon. I tell desire. Let's sign up. Look, there you go. You're not gonna get uh -oh. a weapon higher item level than you have right now. Yeah, the only way you're gonna get anything higher than that is from the vault. Crafted oh. gear is better than actual gear from the dungeon. They're not going to have us, are they? No. You're pretty much only shot is getting your own key right now because you don't have tyrannical score at all, so you look super unqualified for the keys you're doing even though you've already done a ton of 20s. Like, you basically have half the score that you should have right now because you've only really played one week. Oh, you have that thing already. Okay, cool. Nice. Let me log on. We'll get your boots crafted. Um, what is the... Yeah, I guess... Uh... Look at all this first one. Go ahead and look up the materials first. <laughs> you want an alt or something? Yeah. <laughs> Technically, I guess you're right. You're right. Yeah, Jix has also got a low DPS score, so it's really unlikely you guys will get well, by. We got accepted. <laughs> really? <laughs> Twenty-two. That's all. Okay, this will be a good one. Stay tuned. <laughs> I need a weedo. Wait, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. go, go, go. Wait, I'm going to tell him I'm craft some boots. Dungeons on heroic. <laughs> uh, armor, plate, boots, um, molten sabotage. Is that what I want? Yeah, those are them, yep. So I just... I haven't just, got Just a go to the bathroom, dude. Two seconds. I always worry when I open, like, look at the difference in quality here. There's Harry's thing, and then here's my game. It's like, oh my god, it's like, <laughs> it's like life in HD all of a sudden after watching the stream the screen share. I don't know why this keeps popping up. Alright, so let's see, we're crafting some boots. I got a brain issue out of habit. I regemmed and enchanted my tank gear. Best I could. Oh god. You would ask something of me. What's the name of these things? Uh, there is a way to see the name of it. Justice, and it is life. Charmed. Is it called embellishment? Hmm. I don't even know what they're called. Trade goods, I guess. Optional reagents. There we go. The Shadow Flame is the DPS one. Yeah, I'm trying to get in the one that I have. Gunsmoke has definitely played with you a lot. What, somebody in the group you're in or something? Can't see because he's got the thing up. You be dreaming, yeah? Nope. Yo, brother. Yo. We ain't getting the boots crafted, are we? Not right now. We'll get them after the dungeon. Uh, 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 uh. We don't want to int this man's key, so we've got to be on point. Yeah. At the same time, more for him for bringing us, though. It's it's mad that you can just pass the security checks just by saying, yeah, like, 
Are you an alt? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, mate, what kind of security check is that? Like, so not a very successful security check, yeah. It half makes me think this ain't the key we want to be in, but I wouldn't have it any other way. That's perfect for you, yep. Yeah. Right, yeah, I don't know. We'll look at this later. Okay. AD22, one that you have. Uh, it's honestly a very, very easy key, so just focus on Why saying ready check. Because you're not the leader. Only the leader can ready check. Why wouldn't you pass the tank lead? Did you get blood last year? Yeah, we got Hunter. Uh, what? Oh, it's not even my key, bro. <laughs> Correct, yes. I ain't got to worry, like. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Right, I know what I'm... Yeah, you've done this a million times now. Are you an old? Yeah. <laughs> See, if you landed on that stuff to the right, you'd make this a lot easier on yourself. Just don't go too far, because they're going to jump on the closest player. You want them to jump on you. <laughs> yeah, AMS. Okay, Lich Coin's fine there, too. Imagine if he had an AD key and threw it in there by accident. <laughs> That's a funny thing, but we have seen that before. Oh, it's on you. That's Which is fine. It, it's now it's actually fine. Death strike. Oh, what you can use abilities in here. Yes, 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 yes. It's actually a good thing, like because now nobody has to run away from the boss. If you can get picked every single time, you should. Hey, mess. I use it. All right, hide, 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 hide. Rune weapons up. It's on you again. You can just survive it though. Just bank running power and, and death strike. Now. What, it's not letting you do it or something? No. Well, you survived with purgatory at least. I don't know what that was. You learn sign new every day, bro. <laughs> Hiding magic shell. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah that's perked. Oh, you're an old, yeah, bro. <laughs> See how well you Didn't mastered fly. that boss? <laughs> Only an boss? alt would master that. I'm dead? Yep, because you have zero re resources again. Don't take that. Oh my god, what is this fucking... Why are Resto Druids so fucking stupid? <laughs> it is insane, dude. Am I crazy or what? <laughs> I, I, crazy. <laughs> this is fucking cra This is wild, dude. How does every wrestler just have no brain? All right, grab this pack and then take it to the middle to get the next one. You slap hands here. You don't even have to drag it. You just need to grip the blue. Three, two, one. A mob. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You go ahead and do middle. Do not get charged over by the brown dinosaur. Move, 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 move. Okay. Now, if you back all this up to one of the edges, you can actually have him not charge at all. But it's difficult to do that because that mini boss, the one in the middle, won't come. So it's not really that great of an idea. That one Charge. charges, yeah? Yeah, the brown one is the one that charges. Charge all the way to the front. Two, yeah, so take one. it back to the mini boss since nobody's helping me get him over here. Just make sure the dino doesn't charge into other trash and that's fine. So I just face him this way. Uh, well, you turn him at the last second. Yeah, just, just, just don't move, basically. Just whatever direction you're facing is fine. Just don't get hit by it.
move. Three, two, move one. This dino might cast needs. I don't think it's been kicked once. You should be on this though. Like watch your feet. There we go. Great. Charge. Oh, yeah, oh. Cool. Oh, I forgot about I'm supposed to make changes here, you are. <clears throat> Move. Three, two, one. Okay, after this, we're gonna mount up and go back to the Razan side or the Volcal side. Move back to Volcal side. Any chance that Bloodworms get buffed so Bloody K can raid heal instead of tank heal? <laughs> you don't have threat on the honor guard. Start watching for the patrol. It's gonna come in soon. Turn your camera to, to stop. What do you? Why do you keep doing that? Just turn your camera to face it, so you can see where it is. Okay, good. Grab it. Move out of Sanguine. Two, one. Do you think Blood will ever get back to being top tier? What do you think they need to get there? <laughs> I don't know. I don't really think of it that way. I play it regardless. What's the highest key you've timed this season? 27. Omens are 22. That's how it is all. You can can. You've done it if you're in it, can't you? Not yet. Uh, what makes you think you're capable of coaching players as a 3.3k player yourself? Because... I've done it a lot. Watch your feet. I have a lot of experience. Three, two, one. Doesn't have anything like what, what I don't know. How, I, the guy says no flame, just honestly asking, but that's like literally flame. There's no way you could ask that question without flaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone is capable of coaching anyone at anything, yep. I have experience with the spec, he doesn't, so I am capable of coaching him. Three, two, one. Red weapons up. <laughs> this is a hard pack. Yeah, we'll vamp light on the pull here. Get threat. Wow, is that Jix? I was surprised the Demon Hunter didn't start flaming. <laughs> yeah, it's Jix. Three, two, Rune weapons up. One. Ready to move from Sanguine? Me and Jix just out here in, in people's keys, you know. <laughs> no, 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 no. Glad Harry didn't make the Razan low light reel. Yeah, he did, but he just didn't die to it. That's why I, th I think it's like literally good to get Ian as a tank. I feel like because I don't know, maybe you can't use your spells in there. I feel like you should be able to, but watch your feet. Maybe it doesn't work. I don't know. 
I don't ever get eaten. I have no idea how Harry gets eaten every time. Like, I don't know why I picks him every time. Literally every time we do this dungeon, he gets picked. Three, I've never been picked. Like, I've two, got picked, like, once all season. One. All right, go down. He, hold on. You got five stacks of bleed. Harry, calm down. Pay attention to what's going on to your character, dude. You, you just died because you had five stacks of a bleed and you ran away from your healer. Oh, oh, they now. got him, they got him. Okay, good. You barely got that rose. Just take these two for now, Vamp Blood. Marirand. On my Prot Warrior with Burst Mobility, I never get picked on my Prot Warrior. I don't know. You said the same thing twice there, but... Yeah, I've never been picked. I don't know how it gets. People are trying to explain it to me, and the things they're explaining to me aren't what ha what's happening in the footage, so I'm not really sure what's going on. People said if there's two people out of range or something like that, it, it will pick one of them, but Harry's not out of range or whatever. I don't think people know what they're talking about. I think people just. I like think to that's talk. right. It's just not what's happening in the footage, so I don't know what's going on there. I think it's Someone because died. everyone's in melee range, but they're not. That's, that's, that's it's like literally just conversations like this over and over again. Somebody says something that isn't what happened, but it's like I don't know what actually happened. I'm not really sure. <laughs> it priorities prioritizes the target that gets hit by fear. No way, because I get hit by fear every single time. I would get picked all the time if that was the case. We are we? Yep, we're good. And just again making sure we're interrupting and that's your job done if you see one get out of hand or one's way higher than the other you can try to help but other than that there might be people in melee range that don't look it because it was on stupidly big hitbox it could be a factor yeah it could be that the uh hitbox is larger than it looks maybe i guess i don't know it picks based on bad transmogs that's why that's the actual reason <laughs> Because every single time you do a key, you have the worst transmog out of all five players. What do you mean, bro? Well, look, everybody else has put effort into their transmog. You haven't. This is this is my ult can. How can I? How can you expect me to? I don't know why you say that as as a defense. Like it doesn't really make any difference. Get ready to interrupt. Three, two, one. You need two people out of melee range for him to pick one of them. Otherwise, it's random. Yeah, but he gets picked every time. Like, he got picked twice in a row. I don't know. Could be random, I guess. Oh, my God. Oh, we failed. Of course we did. How long has this guy played WoW in general? I think it was a week or so ago. He rammed a few people with charges in DHT, and it stresses me out. Uh, he's played WoW since TBC, right? Um middle of tbc i started but mate like that don't mean nothing like three two one right obviously um, the game's a lot different now like i've been playing years but i ain't been playing like like i might have only just key binded stuff like do you know what I'm saying? Like, RAF was a joke. Like, TVC was a joke. Like, them... I never done anything. When would you say like... you started playing the game seriously, then? Wait, what are the expansions again? RAF, Katara had a break. The end of Katara come Three, to you. Two, uh, one. Missed. I played the beginning, didn't I? But then I didn't play none of... No more. Um, what was after that? Warlords of Draenor. Warlords of Draenor. No, I didn't really play. Bro, I, I like... It so wasn't Legion, Legion is when you started playing the game seriously? Okay. Yeah, they said Legion was like when I like... I tried getting better. I, I saw what was bad about my gameplay. And I improved it. Yeah, know? okay. So that would and be Legion. Legion I, was, yeah. I was playing with you as well. Yep. Yeah, so he basically has had a subscription for like 15, 20 years almost, but never really played seriously until Middle Legion. 
three, two. Uh, but he is a new tank, right? Yeah, he's never tanked before at any point. He did like a very small amount of tanking here and there only, and this is the first time he's ever tanked like multiple days in a row as well. Mate, just by watching me, you can tell that I'm yeah. the tanks. The tank instincts are <laughs> slow to build. But, do you know how this stuff goes? Yeah, no doubt. It's tough with the UI. I think that's probably the biggest issue. What just happened there, bro? Yeah, these these uh, bearers, they both have a tank hit, and they both did it at the exact same moment. Two, Use your burn weapon. One. The way you get away with that as Bloody K is, is parrying it, and you didn't parry either of them, so. Those are the problems with Bloody K. And that's why I gem health, and that's why I put as much defense on my character as possible, because those one shots can come out of nowhere, and when they do, they feel not only do they kill the key, but they feel really bad. What about a Sanguine? Watch your feet. So this next pack I want you to practice is plant on the pack that's close and then just taunt the grip the far one in. Don't go dragging them to the middle of both because feet? that's just going to cause people to get hit by stuff that they Three, shouldn't. Two, so drop D&D, &D, blood boil, and then grip the skyscraper this far. Great. Rune weapons up. Interrupting blue now will be the next interrupt. Okay, they got it. Vamp blood's up. Interrupt blue. Okay, got it. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side, but we need uh, two skyscrapers for this first pack as well. Do them both on the, the tops there. You need both of those. Three, two, one. What do you want me to pull the other thing as well? Uh, at this point now. Just wait. Watch your feet. And don't forget, when we get to the top of the stairs, you need to get the far right priestess and drag it all the way to the left side so you can combine it yeah. with the pack of three. That's exactly what I need to do, yeah. And that's very easy as bloody kick, because you can just grip it over to the front and then just run and grip it a second time if you need to after that. We want to interrupt the casters here. These guys do a lot of damage to the group. I think that's probably another big issue is like, yeah, just not ever interrupting anything. <laughs> like, I actually need to see an interrupt chart at the end of this because I feel like two, you've not really interrupted one. anything. Tanks should be like top on interrupts by like double usually, so. Because the thing about the tank is, Watch like, they're going to prioritize interrupting things that only interrupt, that only hit them, too, you know? So whenever you see these marks, that's why I have the colors, which we're going to change after this. Because it's more obvious, like, okay, those guys Watch are casters, I need to pick one, and I need to plan on it and kill it. And you would just interrupt every time and massively reduce the damage you're taking from that one target. You can mount up here. So go around to the right, grip that priestess over to you. 
do, do damage to it. Good. And now we're going to run to the left. Grab that priestess. Take it to the pack that's to the left. Three. Good. Two. Pogger needs to be taunted. Watch your feet. Okay, metal pack now with LCs. Mass grips not something you take as blood. I wish. No, unfortunately, it's a terrible spot in the talent tree. If you've never played Blood, like go have a look at the talents that are below Mass Grip and tell me which one you'd rather drop for it. <laughs> it's really unfortunate. I want to know what sicko Blizzard made the gauntlet after the first boss on Rise. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a pretty aggressive one, but there's a lot of gauntlets in in WoW Mythic Plus. I don't really think there should be, but it's not uncommon. Yeah, but mate, it's a nice little like break that you need, you know? What do you mean? But like, I enjoy the gauntlets. Oh yeah, yeah, you're actually pretty good at it too. <laughs> Terry's like I'm very saying. very good at moving his character like through things, but terrible at positioning his character. It's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> Like navigating is great, but positioning is zero. Three, two, <laughs> the gauntlet is a wonderful one. break from enjoying the Mythic Plus dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Are you an ult, he says. Yeah, you're still talking about that. Huh? <laughs> I mean, you're about to upgrade this, hopefully, so. Unless you really fuck up the last boss. Vamp blood? Vamp blood? When your health is zero, press vamp blood, please. Take the res. You got to stop running through these balls, too. Taunt the boss, taunt the boss, taunt the boss. AMS, AMS, AMS. Get him back up on the stage. Those balls do like 60% of your health. Do not get hit by them. Can I get him up? Three, no. two, one. You got to get the skull. You you only have one DPS up, like two DPS up. You gotta you gotta help with this. Oh man! Wow, that is some bad play there, man. That's really hard to watch. You're gonna wipe this boss. That's fucking crazy. I don't think I've ever seen a wipe this boss once. It's the first. Yeah, literally. <laughs> You're about to easily upgrade this. Two se two seconds later, <laughs> Harry's got four CDs up, but he dies. You, that's why you shouldn't have said that. Yeah, no, that's not why. Should never say them things. Easy upgrade. The word easy and upgrade shouldn't be put together. I don't know. That's how like turn your back thing. I, I am I missing something? Like, what does it do when you turn your back? It just makes it so you can't parry, right? Like no, he's not. Bro. That's not why he's dying. He's not dying to not parrying. He's dying to not pressing spells. I'm dying because I've got blue boots. Yeah, it's just that you can't parry, so that, uh, yeah, not related. It's not like he's parrying every hit, I know all of a sudden he's not. Just gotta focus on your CD usage, man, that's like the hardest part about Blood DK. This is a new, like, the, every new Blood DK is gonna have this issue. Like, you need Three, to use your CD two, one. frequently. They need to be on cooldown every time. Okay, getting the red. It's just weird how many, like, and I know it's bad, obviously. You don't want to get hit by, you don't want to get hit in the back. But it's not like it does more damage to you. Like, it does the same damage to you as it hit you in the front. You just had a chance of not taking damage, which is not guaranteed anyway. Ideally, we'd, yeah, keep that on the boss. Okay, get in the puddle. Two, one.
You want to stay on the boss here, dude? You want to be attacking the boss at all times? You don't ever want to be out of the range of a boss that's a tank? This is over, though. We don't need to kill another ad, so... Typically, at this point, what you would do is take the boss away Hi. so somebody could uh, CC it. Like, Hunter can just throw his trap up there, so if you're just not near it, then it won't break, you know? I mean, can we kill the last boss in four minutes? Yes, absolutely. Can I kill the last boss in four minutes? Yes. So, big, big moves when I move, yeah? Yeah, just move more than you think you need to. Love the love the sounds of this dungeon too. Yeah. Wait for everyone. Everybody's here. We're good. Okay. Slap hands on Let's the pole go. and then don't use it again. Bones, bone shield. Need bone shield. Good. Three, two, one. But DK has the same issue as Paladin. Your CDs can look long, but you have so much cooldown reduction built in. Yeah, that's that's why it's hard to play this spec because people probably think like, oh, it's a minute and a half CD. I can't use that. But no, it's like literally going to be up twice every combat. Yeah, let's move to the wall behind you for now. Just so we have a clearer path when we need to actually move. Move that? Yep, every time the spiders grow big, you can move. That's good. Three. I'm soul two, rend. One. They're all in random directions. Just move backwards, 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 backwards. And we're not doing the fix, so we're probably going to wipe here. Keep moving. Don't let those ads hit the boss. You need to. Uh, we don't have battle rescue. Yeah, that's GG. Harry, what do you keep him away from the ads? Move the boss from no, the ads. I'm, Move I'm the dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. We're wiping. We could what? do it without two DPS. Yes, you could. Oh. Now the groups. You don't ever want to wipe. Don't ever wipe in a key. That you can solo, don't ever, ever, ever wipe. Because that's just now you just disbanded the key because of that, basically. You could have easily filled up, killed that boss. And it would have helped you too. You would have learned the fight better if you you just kept trying. I thought we would wipe and get back. No. No, people don't do that in this video game. They're all fucking cowards. You can still do it, no? Nope. It's over. Could he have killed it with the effects? Yes. I wasn't saying that him turning his back was the cause, but he just made it 0% chance so it wouldn't get hit by two in a row. No, I know, I know. I just, people keep bringing it up and I wasn't sure if I was missing something because it's being brought up so frequently. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and change the threat thing on the UI and then we'll get the boots crafted. Do you not take crushing blows from turning your back? I don't think crushing blows are still in the video game. I'm pretty sure he ran through a ball, though, because it's hard to see. But All right, type slash player in the chat. Uh, Where's the threat thing? Let's see. It's been a very long time since I changed this. Hola, I'm fret. There we go. Okay, so just change it however you want it, however it would be more obvious to you. Uh, I guess, see how I have border color? Change health bar. Like, can you click more than one at a time? Oh, you can. Okay. Well, either way, I probably just uncheck border color and check health color. And I guess, unless you're sure you want to make a change, you can just go with whatever it is by default. See the, the segment there where it says color playing as tank, those would be the colors you'd want to change. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Aggro on you. Change that to red. Like actual? No, that's orange. 
Red? Uh, Change to red, thank you. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and change no aggro to green. Something completely the opposite of red. Yeah, there you go. All right, cool. So now it should be obvious. Do you, do you think those colors will be obvious? Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. I'll try it, innit? I've got C, innit? Okay, oh, now type slash WA. Uh, go to raid mark, nameplate, health bar, color change. Bottom. Huh. Oh, yeah. Go to the load tab. Uh, never. Click never at the top right. There you go. I'll go. All right, let's get the boots made. Go ahead and look up what you need for the boots. <clears throat> that was a sad key, man. Yeah, it's just, it's just those basics, man. Like... I don't know. I'm not really sure what this help you with at that point because it's just. I don't have the spark though. You you should have one in your inventory now. Yeah, click the thing. The. The half of the spark, whatever those are called. Below. Oh. May your days bring you there you go. Primal Yeah, the embellishment that you want is also called Verdant Conduit. So buy the missive, the materials, and then buy a Verdant Conduit. Alright, so let's start by getting missive, which is... Versatility and Ace. No, um, I can never remember the name of it. Taste the Mastery. You're looking for versatility and mastery. Harmonious. Do I need one of them? Yeah. Just one. Yeah. And then let's get the primal molten alloy. Let me fall into this. And then, what was it you said I needed? Uh, it's called Verdant Conduit. Verd. 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 Just type a C in after that. Verdant C. Space? No, with a space. Wait, really? Okay. Just type, try to type the whole word out. There's a lot of things there for some reason. Pumpin. Com Con. N. Rat. Not, not, no. And. <laughs> what? Oh my god, Harry. Conduit. C O N D U I T. Oh. You're typing the name of the gear. Condu. Okay, there you Conduit. go. By How the, many of these? Just one, yep. Now go put a personal week or, or a personal thing in for me. Ah, oh, mate. Am I dreaming? Hopefully, uh, no. I think I was. You just have to type my name into it. I think is how it worked, right? You don't want Verdant Combatant, you want Verdant Gladiator. <laughs> Metro. Yeah, Metro Nice. Metro Nice. You don't have to give me any gold, dude. Did you ready? Did you what? Did you get You didn't get it, did you? I have to go to the crafting table, but I think I got it. Yeah, there's a little icon on my screen that says I got it. Man. Start order. 
I don't know why I'm not able to. I don't know like what I would need to be able to craft at rank five every time, but it's probably not gonna be rank five again. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> rank two. No, it's gonna be rank four for sure. But it's just it seems like I I can't like guarantee any rank fives, which is weird. Right, rank four for you as well again, but that's fine. Still a huge, huge, huge upgrade. Cheers, cheers. Cool. All right, I got the boots. What's eye level now? Four, seven, one. Oh, God. All right. So you just gained, what was that, six item level from that item? I think so, yeah. All right. So now any... Wait, I um, got, this ain't on, on use, is it? No. So now any uh, of that currency you get, we can use to upgrade our gear. So let's go and see what we have. Go to upgrade the gear. Because I think you need some drakes still, don't you? I can't remember how this works. Oh, yeah. You can also get a boot enchant, too. But let's do that okay. second. Watcher's Loam, I believe, is the name of the bridge. Best goods in the aisles. Need an inspiration proc? Crafting this expansion is weird. I like it a lot. I just don't know how everybody guarantees. Like, every, team, every time I get something crafted by somebody else, it's rank 5. But every time I craft it, it's rank 4. So I guess I need to get a better tool. Try to upgrade whatever's 470 and higher right now. Like, try to upgrade that ring and see what happens. Yeah, so you can upgrade it to. Uh, but let's not let's not choose the ring. I think your pants are your best piece right now. Oh, you also need a pant enchant too. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's a good piece. Let's go ahead and upgrade that as much as we can. All right, that's it. We're out of flight zones. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's go um, to the auction house and buy two more things, and then we'll go back to Keith. Using an insight helps a lot. What does that do again? Does it guarantee the the proc? Watchers low miss stats. Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah. Dirty skill to the craft. Oh, okay, I guess I didn't know about that. Who's this? Who's me who's messaging you? Someone's messaging me and give me fucking some bit things. Bro. Oh, okay. Well, that's good because now you can go upgrade that piece of gear again. Anyway, let's buy some enchants. So you're looking for a enchant and then a uh, a leg enchant. On the weapon, you used insights and we're off by 10. Better hammer would have closed that gap. Yeah. I just don't know how to get that. I Somebody needs to craft that. Because I crafted it and I only got like a rank two of it. So somebody has to have skill in the tool crafting to get it higher, I guess. Mount speed, is that what you want? No, Watcher's Loam is the boots enchant. There you go. Okay, and then legs, it's uh, I can't remember the name of it. See what the frozen one says? Fierce? That that might be it. Yeah, that's the one. What Fierce. Lamb buff? Fierce armor kit. Frosted what? is the the armor one, right? This one's stamina. Yeah, this is the one you want. Are you sure? Why, yeah. why what is Lambent? What does that do? No, Lambent is the versatility. Oh, okay. That's like a new one, I guess. What is the other one now? Compare them? Right, so Lambert applies, causes it to permanently gain 155 to all primary stats as well as 41 versatility. The other one is focus kit to Lego, increasing your armor by 141. Additionally, the item also gains. No, not that one. The fierce strength. one. The fierce one is apply a fierce kit. Lego, causes it yeah, that one's gain. better. That one's way better. Fierce. Yeah, stamina, yeah? Yeah. 
But this is like a maybe a, the other one's probably for DPS because they don't want stamina as much. Okay. And you can go try to upgrade your pants one more time if you want. Now you got the extra flight stones. But outside of maybe a trinket, you're pretty much as geared as you're going to get from actual completing keys. We just need to start upgrading the pieces. I guess the helmet is still really low, but that's... We actually have an item in our bag that can replace that at some point. We just got to do it. Can look, were we able to upgrade him further or no? Nah. Flight stones are low, man. Oh, okay. Like... Yeah, you're right. You're right. All right, cool. All right, let's get back to it. So as your character's like hitting its gear progression curve, like what are your goals now? What would you like to see with the rest of the season? Um... Right for Rack. I mean for Mythic Plus. Oh, um. I'd like to see me time a 20, like the highest possible time, you know? Just keep pushing. Okay, cool. Yeah, just keep pushing. Wow, what are you. What's your highest time? A 26? 20, we did a 27 in time, but. But yeah, just. I was just asking, because, you know, I, between your own key or pugging, like what the best route is, you know? Yeah. But if you want to try to get a 25 done, then your best route is to just do your own key. I keep trying to push that up. But if you're trying to get like the maximum score possible, then you're going to have to pug and it's going to have to be methodical to get a score from each key level. The hot, like, I just want to get the highest key possible. Okay. So yeah, just pretty much just chain your key then until... You get to higher keys then. So I gotta do Throne of the Thunder. Or or try to change it and then do it. But yeah, one way or the other, like nobody's gonna invite you. Like I said, like a twenty four hundred player signing up to even a twenty, it's like what? You know what I mean? Like you just need the tyrannical keys. So for the rest of the day, you're gonna have to either just do your own key or just try to get lucky in the invites. It pretty much has. I mean, I'm not sure what portals you still even need. I think Waycrest and Atal, is that it? Maybe Everbloom? I think Everbloom was not in time or something. I don't remember. No, we have Everbloom, right? DHT, that's the other one. That one plagued you? Nah, Waycrest plagued me as well. Ah, right, well, it looks like we're going to the Thunder of Thrones, boy. Yeah. Skitty sign is he still rolling? I don't know. I assume he'll leave when he doesn't want to continue. So, ah, sweet cheese, cheese, cheese. Uh, that one was a sad one. Yeah, it's just I like, I don't know. I don't know how to help you with that situation because to me, it's like I, I've never been good at this. Like, if something is, like, super basic and obvious, I'd have no idea how to explain it to somebody. I just have no idea. Like, I don't know what words to use. But, like, you... people do wipe and come back, though. It's like... No, absolutely not. I'm not even talking about that. That's a whole different story. I meant the death to Alunza. Like, that... Like, no offense, but that was, like, the newest, like, the most bad thing I've seen you do in all of these streams. You're just sitting there, like not pressing spells with three CDs up and dying on a boss that's the, probably the easiest boss ever. That's fucking insane. Like, that's really, 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 really bad. <laughs> like, if I watched somebody else do that as a tank, I would be like, that's probably one of the worst tanks I've ever seen. So I'm the worst tank. Well, I don't want to say that because I you do play it well at times, but it's like those moments of not... I Like, I don't know what to say. I have no idea what words to use to help this situation because 
It is so obviously savable from the situation you're in and you did nothing to do it that I'm not sure what to say to you. I, I'm not, I don't know what, I'm not trying to be funny. Like, I just don't know what to say straight up. Is it panic? Like, I don't know. Like, I'm asking for some clarification on it as much as anything here. I should be recording this. Like, if I could show you back what you did in that moment, you maybe would understand it better, but. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, didn't you? Yeah, and that's the weird part, because you do know what you're doing. Like, you're surviving far, far, far harder things. Like, things that would kill me. I would be in danger on my death night on. You're surviving easily. But then you manage to, to get, like, overwhelmed by Alunza, and you die to one of the easiest bosses ever. Like, it's really, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what to say there. Yeah. That's what the guy said to me. He said, that's, that's a first. Yeah. No, I don't think I've never... Dude, I've reviewed... Probably 30 different Atal Dazars this season. I ran it probably 60 sometimes myself. I don't think I've ever seen a wipe to Alunza. Let alone a tank death, that's for sure. Should we bring Kevin? Yeah. Paladin's good. 2006. What? 2652? Yeah, that's fine. Little underscored, but surviving in bad spots might be from dying in easy spots, keeping CDs where other people wouldn't. See, the CDs don't really work that way on Death Knight. They're like they're getting used like fifty sometimes a dungeon. You know, like it's just it, we're down to like a four second window. It's not like it's like a three minute window that his, his bad play happened on. It was like literally like a three second window where he just didn't generate any runic power, didn't use hard strike or death strike, and didn't use any of his CDs. You know what I mean? What's your power sign, Metro? Uh, I'm not sure. He said I'm um, 1300 as a DPS, so picky. So be picky, maybe you're saying? I don't know. He, he thinks he's not playing well, but that's not the case. He's playing fine. Uh, I think I'm getting hit by the... I think getting hit by the gold orbs reduces damage and healing by 50%. That's the other... I didn't see if he actually did. I assume he got hit by a gold orb, because I know they do a lot of damage, but... All right, we'll bring, we'll bring, we'll bring this guy. This guy's play too. And then the next guy we bring will just make sure he's... Oh, I see. He was just kind of making a joke, because both of you guys are underscored, so... It looked to me like he got hit by a gold orb. I'd imagine he did based on the damage he took, but I don't I don't have the I don't have the the weak ore to show it for sure. When I was new at tanking, I found myself trying to think of the perfect plan and ended up being too slow where a much simpler and straightforward plan would work. Right. What do they call that? Uh, analysis paralysis by analysis, right? Yeah. I've got analysis paralysis, yeah. Yeah. The only time I saw you wipe on that boss, there was a Resto Druid. Really? I didn't even realize that we had ever wiped there. Oh, yeah. I don't remember that, but probably not. I think everyone sense. wipes there, bro. No, nobody wipes there. The boss kills itself. You could literally not do damage to that boss, and it will die in a minute and a half. What? Yeah. It's like a... I mean, as easy as it is, it's a terrible design. The fight encourages you to not do anything. Because the, the damage from the beams are so high, and it all scales with key level, so you don't need to do DPS. It's like, if you do really, 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 really good DPS, you might cut off one of the full beam phases, but realistically, you're not going to. Like, you see how at the end of the fight, you have like 6% left? That's the only thing the DPS would have helped with, otherwise you just wait for another beam. Do you invite that guy? Which one? The elemental? Uh, I would take the rogue. But you ain't got bloodlust. Oh, we don't have bloodlust. Yeah, okay, elemental then. And Yasma, I think you said about the two DPS dying made Harry go and try to wipe. I didn't even see the second guy die. Honestly. But either way, you could. Like, the fight gets actually easier with less people. 
because then there's less, uh, like the spiders are more condensed. There's less ads to kill. I mean, that's pretty much it. But yeah, those are, those like, they, the fight doesn't get any harder when people start dying. And the boss was already at like 50% or lower at that point. Hey, Bliss, how are you? How's it going? Welcome. Quite quick and reset, you know? That's, yeah. That's like... Yeah, no, and that's just, that's just your inexperience with pugging, but like, that ain't gonna happen in a key where you've already wiped to a boss like that, especially. <laughs> the spec didn't have AoE stun, but I changed it. Nice. Could be useful. We got two good AoE stuns in the group now. This week he would die to Incorporal? No, I could just tell him when to AMS. You still had two players alive anyway. It's not like every Incorporal is gonna go off at that point. Yasma is the prototypical solo tank save. Yep, it's very, very, very easy. It's probably the easiest boss to solo save ever. Because it's number one mechanic goes away. All right, so we're armed with a new, little bit of a UI refresh on the whole threat thing, because that's frankly one of those things that really needs to get fixed. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully the experience you have in the dungeon will get you through the rest but Kevin's not ready fucking hell Kevin <laughs> yeah that's like a raid thing to oh. wipe and typically you know there's times when oh. you can wipe and succeed in mythic plus but for the most part if you wipe the keys over Kevin's ready right Kevin you should probably also have gotten Five, some flasks four, oh what three. Two, Just realize you're using one. like no consumables for a 22. <laughs> All right, so open with rune weapon, slappy ends of vamp blood, and then make sure you don't get hit by like in the back while you're running. That time you actually turn your back to the pack you were engaging, which is crazy. Penguins out. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Okay, we can move on. Watch your feet. Cheat Death Trinket is so good. It's absolutely been crucial to his success on this character. Without it, he would have died so many more times. Good, we parried that. Try stopping these spells if we can. Move from Sanguine. Move again, move again, move again. Three, Step. two, one. Um. Yeah. Basically, if we didn't have the cheat death trinket, we'd have died. Well, yeah, it procked on the first pull, but we do still have purgatory, so that's good. Basically, you want to only use one of the two cheat deaths in that hallway, and that's the formula success in this next hallway. Because it's likely that you'll need it again in the next hallway. Move from Sanguine. Turn on Sanguine is the worst. There's so much stack trash. It takes 20% longer, even if you play well. Well, Jix is doing something big and he's helping a lot with that by putting a mortal strike on the enemies. But yeah, realistically, this is one of the worst Sanguine Dungeons, even though the 
problems with Sanguine aren't as obvious. It's simply because there's so many high health enemies. Four or five targets in this dungeon that all have like 20 to 50% more health than the stuff they're fighting. Everbloom is worse, but there's less high health targets for it to be an actual issue. Like other than the... I can never remember the name of that big mob, but yeah, other than that one big mob on the right side, there's not really anything that you'd fear getting healed. So, I want to pull this and this. Yeah, correct. Go, go, go. Run up in here. Drop D&D &D and plant. No rend. Good. Three, two, one. Doubtful, but have you ever looked into playing Hell Drivers? No. Hell Drivers. Hell Divers. Oh, Divers. Okay, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it is yeah. Then. It's a, it's like a shooter game. Oh, I've been interested in it, but I didn't get it. Too many games at the minute. Yeah, there's a lot of games. Watch your feet. Like we're we're playing League in the off time, really, isn't it? Yeah, I, I still never, like, I wanted to play more Elden Ring, but I just kind of stopped. All right, you don't see how they're green? It means you have threat on neither of them. There you go. So when they... If it's green, it means you don't have threat. Okay, then. Three, two, one. Oh, so I don't have threat. Uh, that's, yeah, that's why I don't change the color. The, that's the number one reason why I changed the health bar from changing colors. Because now this rock elemental has threat and it's confusing you. But uh, it's all good. Um, when's the duo Elden Ring? Oh yeah, do you want to do that? I don't know, we can. Oh, do that, bro. Yeah, you've never really played a game like that before, right? Uh, Soulstone. What's the what's Soul Masters? What's the what's the main one everyone talks about? Dark, Dark Souls. Souls. Yeah. Have you played that one? Um, I did get it, and I tried it, and I died. No to the NCP. Three, two, yeah. one. You know the, the one who, who's friendly? I hit him by accident. It's <laughs> <laughs> funny. And he chased me, bro, and he killed me, bro. And then he wouldn't stop killing me, so I just quit. <laughs> I don't blame you. Like, I could have beat him. Have you tried what fighting him? Feet? Yeah, he's very hard, especially early on. Okay, you're good. Grab them. It's because shamans have a passive where the earth element is up to get 10% increased health. It's like a cheese defensive. Well, that, yeah, I mean, obviously they should be Three, using Earth Elemental, I'm not two, saying they shouldn't, but like, one. for me, I don't need to see that I lost threat to a Rock Elemental, you know what I mean? So that, it's like, yeah, it's just obstructive at that point. Okay, move, move on, Sanguine. Three mobs just sent in Sanguine. Another patch of Sanguine's about to come down, so be ready to move them. Didn't win my guild's five million gold plunder storm tournament last night. Who did? Did you guys do it with like the 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 way the Blizzard tournament went, where you had to like play dozens of games, or was it just one game? Or wait, how do you even do it? How do you do a tournament? Three, like the Blizzard two, servers allow everybody one. to play against each other, but you can't do that on live servers, can you? Two hours, top six games counted score wise. Oh, okay, so you never actually faced each other. Okay. So people could have cheated. I guess. Oh, that's interesting. First game was great. All of us got in the same game at one team. Oh, like the old school. God, did you ever do this, Harry? The oh, oh, it's snowing, by the way. The old school AV strategy where people would do like a countdown in Ventrilo and you would all queue at the exact same time 
and you would all get into the same Alteric Valley, even though Blizzard didn't allow pre-mades. Did you ever do that? Yeah. Um, yeah. I, nah, I didn't do that on AP. Oh, I've no. done that uh, with Plunderstorm. With oh. And Brian. Oh, really? Oh, okay. That's yeah, fine. when it first came out, we, uh, we were queuing into each other. Blizzard must have their own private servers for it. Well, obviously, Blizzard, they have all the servers, but yeah. All right, so those mobs are just focused on other players, but that's fine. And your bleeds reset, so you're good. Nice, move on. First game, one team killed my team. They got killed by another guild team, and then they got killed by a guild team and won the whole match. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, it sounds like it'd be fun if you could all face each other. What are we going to ask? Oh, what? I told you what Ryan did to me. I, I, I swear I said told you what Ryan did to Three, me. Two, I don't remember if he did. One. Bro, we got into the same one. Yeah, but we, we weren't teaming up or nothing. We were just like, we just wanted to be in the same one, but like, like fight each other. Like if we get to the end game, fight each other, you know? So, bro, if we're going along the game, as it were, I'm farming, he's farming, we're both farming, as you were. Mate, What's I've seen feet? him. I've seen his name. I've gone, oh my god, that's him. I need to take this man. Bro, I've took this man, didn't I? Yeah, I've took him out. Took him to 10% health, yeah? Beat him. Beat his ass, yeah? Then, I said to him, you know what? You can live. You can live to fight another day. Go on, go along your business. I got him to like 10, just to show him Three, that I could beat him. Two. One. You know how the guy done? What? Put one in my back and killed me. <laughs> he stabbed him in the back. In the back, bro. He put one in my back and laughed. And I said, what? What kind of sportsmanship is that? I None. let him live. And he, he put one in my back. I feel that and then way. He went on to win. I feel that way about Ryan. Like I feel like he is the kind of he's like an opportunist, don't you think? Oh yeah, for real. He's the kind of guy yeah. who's gonna take any opportunity he can at any point in any game. Do you know what it is? We, me, him, and Bill are very competitive with each other. Yeah. You know? So one. Um, we're very competitive. I shouldn't have let him live. Really, I should have known. Sounds like something we would have done during the annual meeting back in one. A combo of a death race What's and a PvP feet? tournament. <laughs> yeah, it does sound fun, actually. I probably would like that a lot more if it was actual people I knew that we were fighting. Okay, so yeah, we'll just save slap hands for the first set. Three, two, one. Okay, here comes. Slap him. Make sure you taunt the big guy. Gather the casters. Dodge circles. Incoming. Yeah, it's because they have that stupid costume on. Two, one. No! Oof. That was Jesus. close. The costume's making me slower, mate. Might do. Yeah, press blood boil. <laughs> you want to try to always have blood plague up. Especially yeah. in a phase like that. Alright, we're going to grip the casters onto the big guy. Here we go. Tried and true method. Caster one, caster two. Got them both. Love it. 
the AMS here. Three. Help with the two, magic damage. One. Dodge in the puddles. Never been good at dodging puddles. Yeah, I see that your like graphics are really low. Is that because your computer's not great, or what? Is that supposed to be higher? Yeah, I mean, well, maybe you just have like something turned off that you don't realize you have turned off, but it's like the game looks so different than my game. I think it's projected textures, right? Is that that? I think that's probably the issue. I just got it on performance, isn't it? Yeah. Performance mode. Maybe it's just the screen share, I don't know. Alright, making a really good time at, right now. Look at this. Look after. Look yeah, off. definitely not now. Yeah. <laughs> this shaman. Oh yeah, he's doing 100k less than Three, the other people. Two, one. At least he used the bloodless spell. So after these fissures, move the boss far away. And get ready to disadvance. Oh, you don't have it up for some reason. Hey, not that far. That's... Basically here, you want to create like a wall of these slimes and you want them all together. I don't, and I'm not really sure what else to say. Like, just want them all together and then if you let them get out of control, the fight becomes impossible. So you want to tank, tank them close. Three, you want to keep the puddles two, close and you want to move just enough. My PC is old as dirt, so I have a lot of stuff off. Or on low details. It's crazy the difference between mine and my friends who's maxed. It looks different, no doubt, but there's like some things that you need to be high to be able to do Mythic Plus optimally. Usually it's projected textures. I just, maybe it's just because of the screen share that I'm thinking it's not on, but it feels like I can't see the edges of mechanics on his screen very well. That may just end up being, see, like this is the, this is a huge, huge error having it, that happen like that. Three, two, one. What eye level are the DPS and healer? Oh, I have no idea. The Paladin was quite good. Four I think everybody's eight. probably 380 at this point, other than Harry. <laughs> 380 plus. His court needs to allow screen sharing above 720 without paying for it. Yeah, I... Don't I don't really get why they I don't know it's obviously a money thing but Chicks is 484 he's a demon hunter in the group. All right, good effort here. Stay there and go. <laughs> Not that paladin. <laughs> oh my god! And you that released time. again. This is just like face palm. Like do people not know? I guess they just don't know. Oh yeah, that's Trundle. <laughs> it looks like Trundle, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Two, <laughs> one. That's funny. For dungeons and raids, I have to turn some stuff back on, or mechanics just won't show up. Yeah. That's some stuff just has to be on. I may lose an overall, but at least I didn't die to eels. Yep. <laughs> but the dying and then rezzing and having to do it again, it's like, what the fuck? I think one death's enough to the eels. You can just wait for the release. AMS. Taking lots of magic damage right now. Watch your feet. I 
started healing on the Discipline Priest and got called trash in AD 18. After we timed it, I checked everyone's defensive CDs. Not one DPS used any at all. Well, that may not be related. But yeah, that's why you want to record them. And if you want to send them in, I could help you either laugh at those guys or understand what might have been done wrong. Rune weapon. Three, two, one. I use Consider the Death. I just consider the death to eels and the time spent waiting to release as time to reflect on my eel dying shame. <laughs> yeah, you definitely don't want to try it a second time. That's the funny thing. Ah, he's in the... This, he's in the Watch your feet. No, that's cop saying that. Oh. Playing lock for a week and holy shit, having dark pack and self heal feels amazing. Yeah, no doubt. Three. Rhett's the two, same way right now. They're one. so bulky. He says, I don't know how people don't use their defensive CDs, but. Watch your feet. I mean, like, it's the same. I think it's the same thing as what you're seeing with Harry at times. Like, people just are not even thinking about defense. Like, they're not aware that defense is something they need to be thinking about. Like, what did that guy just aggro that trash? You know what I mean? Like, these guys aren't. Like, they're making so many mistakes that they can't even possibly think ahead of, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, they're just reacting to whatever's happening in that second. And that's it. That's the only thought they have. There's no planning ahead. There's no ability to see anything that could change at anything other than the second that they're in at that moment. But this is why you watch the streams to get better and you know, sure. Three. Threat on green, threat on green. One. Riding sheep. Hmm? Might be something to do with being on US. I, I do pre I do press blinding sheep. The problem is you're not death gripping like ever to stop a What's cast. Death Grip is a 15 second CD and it'll stop all of these casts. Binding Sleet's nice for a couple pulls in this dungeon, but for the most part, it, you could probably Three, just not even take it and it wouldn't two, really even matter. One. There's so many people with AoE stops now. Binding Sleet's just one of like dozens. I'll just bring this up one more time just because it seems like a lot of people don't really get it but he says this these players were 3100 on their mains and butt pulled everything possible and like the what i'm trying to help you understand here is like that's your opinion Three, you know what i mean they probably two, have a different opinion of what went on in the key and so if you're frustrated that something happened in the key like the best way to deal with it is just record it and send it in and if there's something to learn from we'll help you with it and if there's not and it's just something funny that you know what I mean? Then we'll make a video on it and laugh at it too. But like, just like kind of vapidly con complaining about it in the chat, it's like not gonna make not gonna make the situation any better. There may legitimately be something to learn from in that situation, or they may just be idiots. You never know. Does blinding sleet have diminishing returns? Night. No, I, I. That's a good question. I don't think there's enough blinds in the game for it to ever matter. But maybe. Three, two, one. What can you record on that's not too intense on the PC? I assume the answer is OBS. I've not used OBS on any PC where I'd ever need to worry about it being too intense, though, to be fair. But I'm like, I know OBS is like so customizable that you record on any quality and it's, you know, like you'll find the solution. Even if you record on the highest quality and it's not working, you just lower it.
more or less the idea that IO means anything is where I was going with the chat. But if there are 31 doing an 18, like, you know what I mean? Like, those things don't add up anyway, so it's like, it's not really relevant. They weren't Three, doing it for score anyway. Two, one. Oh my god, did that guy just pull his trash? What the fuck is this game, man? This is crazy. You're gonna wipe this boss. AMS? You need to be extremely ready for Sanguine here, otherwise we're going to wipe. You need to move back to the gate. You need to move back to the gate. Get away from the other trash that's still there. Get, get his battle res out. Not on him, the healer. Okay, the healer's up. It doesn't matter. It's Three, too late. It's going to be a wipe. Two, one. Yeah, anyway, if you run into a situation where you're upset about something, just record it and send it in. It's like new levels of idiocy come out in these dungeons. It's actually crazy. Are you there? Who, me? Well, yeah, you didn't comment on that at all. I thought you'd have something to say. Um. You really need to be careful about moving, though, man. Like, I don't. There's like so many basics. It's actually crazy. It makes me think like you've never played WoW before. Yeah. You don't want to tank the boss like within 30 yards of other mobs. That's for sure. <laughs> but that guy obviously fucked up by pulling it. But still, like, you don't want to put the DPS in that position in the first place. Yeah. 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 Bring it further back, further back, further back. Okay, good. Bone shields. Three, two, one. I don't know how he pulled either because I saw the lava bolt split. I guess at that point it must have been already been pulled or something like that. I don't really know. But that's how I knew it was about to get pulled because I saw his lava blast go the opposite direction of where the other one went. And then I was like, oh, well, we're about to wipe. Three, two, one. Okay, the next phase is coming, so be ready to dodge the fear when it does. Fear is always immediate. AMS are good. That guy pulled trash again. Forgive me. I, I have grown too weak to be of any assistance. How is that possible? Like, am I, uh, oh man, this is actually wild. I did not think we would see this kind of... I thought we'd see some of this stuff two weeks ago when Harry was doing 15s. I, yeah, I don't know, man. This game's community is pretty, pretty scary at times. Just leave him dead there. He can release in the middle of the dungeon. It's actually faster. You must carry on without me. I shall take my leave. This is what a 22 looks like now. You know, this is something. Not even like, uh, I'm sorry. Like, you bricked the fucking key, bro. You pulled trash on a boss and bricked the fucking key. And no commentary. Crazy. So chat for OBS, if I set recording to 720p, I guess. I don't know what that is. Just try it. Yeah, just give it a try. Like, there's a bunch of settings on OBS automatically, so. 
It shouldn't be that. I think, like, literally you can probably stream. Unless, like, the game already lags. Like, if you're, you're already having trouble running WoW, I don't think OBS is... Watch your feet. If you're not already having trouble running WoW, I don't think OBS is going to make it any worse. But the cool thing about encoding now, um, there's some really good... You, basically, in the beginning of the Three, recording days, everybody two, used software encoding, one. which was heavily... Like, the CPU was what was heavy on that. Well, now there's, like, NVEC encoding, I guess, which is hardware encoding for the NVIDIA GPUs. I assume there might be a similar something similar for the other GPUs. Um, and so, like, if your CPU is already taxed, but your hard drive, or but your uh, graphics card isn't, you can switch that. And if it's the opposite, you know what I mean? The thing about WoW is... It's mostly a CPU-based game for some reason. So it might be better to record with the hardware. The game run fine. However, AMD likes to turn out the GPU. Three, two, AMD likes one. to turn out the GPU. What does that mean? The shaman's blaming the healer or the tank in his mind right now. Yeah, I, I mean, maybe. That would actually make sense how he doesn't even apologize for that. Do it twice in two pulls and not even say I'm sorry. Like, wow, man. Be crazy. Watch your feet. If I butt pull on a trash pack, I feel deep shame and apologize. Yeah, it like really comes off like he just doesn't care, yeah. So he's like literally getting boosted. Like this is basically like a paid carry for this Three, guy at this point. Two. Doing one. half the DPS of the other two players and then pulling trash on bosses. Something about the drivers and the GPU no longer slowing the tag. Oh, yeah. You're having software failure on your GPU then. Right side. Uh, Metro, what do you think is the best healer for Mythic Plus? Uh, Blood, Blood Death, Death Knight. Knight. Mythic Plus. What's up, buddy? Welcome. Long time no see, man. What have you been up to? If that's happening, you might need to reinstall. It's like you're basically like getting software failure in the GPU, which means that either something's not optimized on it or it's like not good enough to play the game. Why was CPU bound? Because of the Three, absurd number of procs two, and dice rolls. They have one. to do every frame. Yeah, I guess. I don't know anything about that kind of stuff, but. The issue with AMD video cards is something I've heard about in WoW more often recently. Oh, really? It's like an AMD specific issue? I've never used anything but NVIDIA in my whole gaming career, so I have no idea, but... You, you're, you're moving back towards trash, Harry. Like, Stay by the door. Gather these ads. Three, two, one. Nvidia just was like the only option when I started playing games, so I've just stuck with it. Same reason I have a Toyota. <laughs> it's like fucking Toyota. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Your healer has no mana. Wait for the healer. It's like the same reason I have a Toyota because I just like that was like the first car I ever got. And I was like, all right, just stick with this. Been splitting my time improving at League and playing Dragon Dogma 2. That game is really good. I love monster hunting games. How have you been? I've been great, man. Glad to see you again. Me and Harry have been playing a bit of League as well. Not sure we're improving, though. Nah, we're improving, bro. <laughs> it's a journey, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Uh, what would we play? Harry plays jungler. He's been playing Trundle a lot, and I play support. I've been playing Malphite Three, a lot. Two, one. All right, Cryptic Casters. Splotch is the name of the man. There you go. I built my PC around nine months ago and decided to get an AMD card. I regret it. Great bang for the buck, but I have to run WoW and Direct 11 instead of 12 because the game will continuously crash. Oh, okay, so AMDs are like cheaper. Is that what you're saying? Or 
For me, it was a loyalty thing back in the day. I was and still am an Intel guy, so I stuck with NVIDIA over AMD. Oh, Intel makes it. Wait, I don't get what that means. I don't know what that means. AMD video cards just Three, suck. Oh, wow, two, really? One. I've heard a lot of people <laughs> swear by them for some reason. You're not in range of the boss. Fortunately, you're fucked here. You just have to stay in range of the boss. Try not to get hit by the swirls. Gather the trash. Now you can get out of the puddle. Death strike, death strike, vamp blood. Ugh. Tom boss, Tom boss, Tom boss. AMS, AMS. Three, two, one. Any boss that can't be moved, you cannot do that. You have to stay in range of the boss no matter what. Every, like in, in WoW's development cycle, it's always a like 100% chance. If the boss cannot be moved, it will wipe you if you leave melee. That's just every single boss ever since fucking Classic. It's like that. So unfortunately, you have to do that. Yeah, look at that guy. Did 140k overall in a 22. That is fucking embarrassing. Most of my friends are AMD users and they don't have issues. Oh yeah. Guy's gonna trade your shoulders. I've got shoulders though, no. Yeah, you don't need them, but you take the transmog. One more to the collection. The AMD being bad with WoW is a recent issue. Oh really? It's old. I have an RTX 470, but until like six months ago, it was holding its own. Oh, uh, yeah. It sounds like it's an issue recently then. Okay. That's an upgrade, though, in it, mate, Tro. Versatility. Mastery. Yeah, definitely. That's a huge upgrade. That's the best in slot cloak. Sweet. Hmm. It's a yeah. shame we didn't time it, but, mate, like. Yeah, it's well, not you, easy. your goal was just to change the key at the end of the day, right? Yeah. Uh, Cop sent you some stuff in the mail too. He said, "Bright said says, do you and Harry play ranked on league? Yep, we are piddling around trying to get some progression, but unfortunately the game's terribly designed. So I actually posted it in my Discord this morning about what my last games look like, but I lose more than I gain for some reason. So I'll probably never make any actual progress. Is there a cloak enchant, Metro? I don't think so. I can never remember, man." We would have timed it by 10 minutes if we had a third DPS. Yeah, guy at war, war the guy could have just not pulled trash on the boss. There is there is a cloak enchant, apparently, yeah. Oh, your hearthstone. Yeah, that's good. That's a good enchant. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Regenerative leech. Wait, is that... So Jix just linked something in Discord with four interrupts on it only. Is that because the shaman didn't interrupt, or is it did you just crop it to only four? But you want right rest. Nice. That's what we need, right? We'll do this. We'll do this, and then oh, it'll be the last one in it. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. It's gonna be a gonna be a long one anyway. White crest. Shaman kicked three times total. Oh, wow. Okay, that's crazy. Because, I mean, he didn't look like he was he was geared. He had some decent score. Like, it wasn't, like, anything crazy. Pretty, pretty sad. Yeah, so now you can probably... That cloak is one thing, like, to put all your upgrades into. Because that's... You're not going to replace that cloak unless you get it from the vault. The, city's finest goods. the blue one. So you can actually down, like, the current highest can go down, um, but you don't have enough of those either. So.
Maybe we get a third DPS this run. Hmm. Are those guys all staying, or what's going on? Um, I don't know. Is Kevin staying? I don't. I don't think they're from the stream, but maybe. Still can't believe that guy pulled trash like that, man. That's crazy. And then did it a second time, too. It's all part of the learn. Um, what should I do? Should I just kick Kevin then, or? Yeah, I would just kick. I mean, I, yeah, I always just reform the group no matter what, even if we're playing with viewers, just to make it fair, but. I think Livid wanted to come. What is that? What do you mean? He said he wanted uh, to do the weight crest. The, no, yeah, the DPS paladin wanted to come. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Jungle Jim wants to know if he can come for the next one. Yeah, especially since this is his last one, you're more than welcome to come. I played League and Dota for two. I Dota two for over ten years. League's biggest issue is them trying to make every role be able to solo carry. In Dota, only your AD carry can, so you're forced to play as a team or you would lose. Oh, really? Who's Jungle Jim Metro? I don't know. I, I mean, I know who he is, I just don't know what his character's name is. Unfortunately, you will lose more LP than you gain unless the MMR thinks you are better than your teams and opponents. When you are where they think you belong, you gotta go on a win streak. Yeah, I mean, that just basically like kills all motivation for me playing the game. I am enjoying playing it with Harry a lot, but outside of, like, I, like, when I first picked it back up, I was like, oh shit, I'm addicted to this game, man. I'm about to go really hard at it. And then I was like, wait, why am I losing? Like, I was like a 50% win rate and I'm going down. I was like, wait, what's happening right now? <laughs> then I realized, I posted it in the Discord, but I'll show it on the screen. So, Jungle Gym to message. Right, here's the last six games. 26 lost, 22 gained. 29 lost, 24 gained. 26 lost, 24 gained. So what? So what do I need? Like a 70% win rate to climb? Like what the fuck? Who's going to have a 70% win rate in iron? Nah, no one, man. I mean, that's like, right? Like, I mean, what? what is this game? Like, how the fuck does that even happen? At the lowest ranking, you should have the highest gains. Like, I don't really get it. Uh, he says he's about to apply. He's almost in. Okay. I think you would just need a 51% win rate. Not with those numbers. I was like losing like five more than I'm gaining at times. So I'd need like at least probably, probably, I'm not a very good math player, obviously, but probably like at least 60% win rate to, to gain more than I'm losing. Cause then you ask, don't you have to, I, there's no promo anymore, I guess. Right. That's like gone. No, no, no there's no promo. Yeah. yeah. Cause you used to have to win. Promos were so sad, though. Yeah, it was annoying. Like three out of five, you had to win to promote. Yeah. OBS works well, it seems. Not lag in the city, and it's all readable. Sweet, sweet, sweet. There's a wait options. Oh, you're gonna look at the graphics, right, man? Scroll down a bit. Let's see. Projected textures are enabled. Environment detail. I just don't know what. I like. I have everything maxed, so I don't know what's what. Spell density, maybe. Mm, well, hold on. Read that. Just make sure that's not other players' spells. No, just read what it says, Harry. Hover over it. It's it's only your spells, I guess, right? Yeah. Okay. So go back to whatever it was. Most is what you had. Does he have things set to personal only? I don't know. I don't know what that even is. I'm going to run the bathroom real quick. Maybe you guys have um, ideas for him. But it just to me, it seemed like I was having a lot of trouble seeing the edges of mechanics. And I don't have that issue on my actual account. So, all right. Be right back. I'm going to go out Wii as well. Two seconds.
Do you have anybody? To go AFK too, probably. That's how wild PvP fells. I won five out of six solo shuffle rounds with four of them being kills. I got and I got twenty two rating for it. Yeah, after playing League and seeing how that gets handled at the lowest possible rating, it makes I've had people argue that there should be uh, ways to lose score as well to make things more fair. And after seeing the way League is handled, it's like, okay, no. If they ever if they ever allow you to leave score, I'm done doing Mythic Plus. Like, that would be the one thing that drives me away from it. Because that is totally unfair. Like, to actually make the lowest rank and still not gaining more than you're losing, that, that means that they just are not, like, you're not encouraged to progress at all in that game. So, yeah, if that ever happened in Mythic Plus as well, I would be done. Uh, did Cop just say Havoc requires pure skill? Someone should tell him. <laughs> the build I'm using must be for high target pulls. I can feel it. I got up to gold four this past month and started playing pretty emotional, so I'm back down to bronze three. Well, that's a big jump, isn't it? Currently 91 wins and 96 losses. The tick is the trick is consistency, win early and climb. It's just not, I'm not, like, I'm not playing the game serious enough to be dealing with all that bullshit. If me winning 50% of my games is not enough to progress, then I won't progress. It's at the end of it. Uh, particle density should be as high as, okay, that's it. Particle density. Yeah, no doubt. All right, we got to take a look at that. Oh, yeah, you're Smoky McPots, right? Yeah, I guess it Harry's AFK again, so we'll get you in when you get back. It's a dude, where's my car reference? Oh, really? I think I've ever seen that. Ashton Kutcher, right? <laughs> the cop is just like... <laughs> Why are you just like fluffing jicks for the full stream? What's going on here? I just shared a podcast as a reply to your post in Discord. These guys are great at putting League into perspective. It ignited a passion for solo queue challenge. And is, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to be watching it, honestly. but It's just like a... Like a just an observation I had that just like a total turnoff for me. I like playing video games where I'm able to make progress at my own pace. Uh, I feel like no, it's I'm sorry, sorry. Welcome back. Yeah. I feel like it's really good for my, um, my brain. Like it makes me very engaged. Invite Smokey McPots. That's jungle gym. Uh, um, I feel like, like that's why I got into golf. Like pretty much every activity I do is some very, very long term progression goal game either outside the, the world of video games or inside of it. And League is just like, at first glance, just telling me like, this is not a long-term progression game for you. So that's <laughs> that's the end of it. You know, I don't really care at that point. Um. No. <laughs> Last key of the day, let's end it. <laughs> <laughs> feel bad for Druids, though, because there's just a few of them weighing the other ones down. Yeah, but unfortunately, the community isn't helping itself. Like, if the good Druids set a better example, then this wouldn't be a problem. Like, you know what I mean? Like, clearly, there's good Druids out there succeeding, and somehow the bad Druids aren't seeing it. So that means that the whole community is letting each other down. I think I can do it too. I just don't care enough. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not looking to play the game. I was just playing it because Harry was playing it. And Harry, me and Harry used to play League back in MOP. Uh, and I, I was like, all right, I'll just play the game with him. But yeah, I'm not really. I, I shouldn't have even started playing it in the first place. I don't really have any free time for it. Next season, I'm getting a 2NS Havoc Gear set. Dang it. This is so annoying. A second Havoc Gear set. Yeah. <laughs> 
Who said that? Chicks. I want to buy gear for Havoc and more skills. Wow, what's he got? He ain't got... Oh, because he's a tank. He's got a bunch of tank stuff, so he had to like unenchant all the tank stuff and re-enchant it as Havoc to play. Oh, why not just, bro, just come in the tank enchant gear, don't matter. Man, when Harry put that druid on Ignore a Few Streams back, that had me dying. Yeah, I'll be making a video on that this weekend, 100%. That's... I've got millions. <laughs> Your power's rich, boy. Yeah. I mean, shamans. I... Shamans are just fucking a little bit thing, but I think we just have to bring him. Yeah. Bloodlust, innit, I suppose. Yeah. Imagine that. Oh, we cancelled. Imagine that just being invited just for Bloodlust. Like, I would think, like, you users. Yeah, no, that's what you want. <laughs> Every pug needs a certain composition, and the meta of pugging, quote unquote, is the composition, you know, fitting a certain way. So, if you're not yeah. playing that, like, that's why I've always had trouble with Warrior DPS, because they don't bring a single thing that's valuable to the key. Yeah. So I would be not in any of your keys on my warrior then. Well, I mean, I'm just saying in general, like on a theory, a theoretical basis. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, okay. Uh, go back to your UI thing. I forgot we got the answer to that, too, while you were gone. What UI? The video setting. Uh, now I gotta scroll back up. Particle density. That's what you're looking for, particle density. Oh, fair. Yeah, change that to uh, ultra. Disabled. Okay. I don't know if you have to reload for that to work or what, but hopefully that's good now. What is it, though? It's the edges of the spells. Oh, you ain't coming, mate. I'll, I'll wait. <laughs> Honestly, I'll just wait, bro. There's another thing that builds. He didn't actually. Have a, he he turned it off by accident when we were looking at it, but yeah, he had it on the lowest setting before that. Where's sharpness? And that's not a feature in this game. Contrast, I guess, is that what you're talking about? No, like in in classic, I put my sharpness up. No, I have no idea. Tonight the computer just runs hot, so I just put the settings on low. Yeah, you can turn everything up. Like, the biggest thing to do to uh, lower your settings but not lower your quality is turn shadows all the way off. Shadows make, like, zero impact on your gameplay, but they're one of the highest things possible. Well, why are you increasing everything? I thought you had problems with your graphics. Well, I don't, I don't have problems. I just okay. Ground clutter is another thing that you don't need on at all. I just add it on low because, mate, I. Uh... Oh, yeah, mate. Juicy box. Who's this? I can heal. No, no, no. Look, we'll, we'll bring Juicy box, bro. Oh, it's in a raid again somehow. What raid <laughs> How does that keep happening? <laughs> what raid are we going to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got dinner after this one, boys, so... I can yes. heal if I need to. Gear stats for it. I've healed 23 in the kill scare. Jump to you, though. Nah, bro. Yeah, this will be the last one today, so hopefully we get this 
easy upgrade. Be the last one for the week too. So hopefully we can get this upgrade because this is one that you still need, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, we don't have bloodless again, but that's fine. We got to. I guess everybody's from the stream again, so whatever. That's more valuable than bloodless, obviously. Oh, I didn't get flasked. Next next week. Yeah, I think cops sent them to you, but I don't know if they just went to the oh. wrong character. No, I didn't get no mal. Cheers, Coppo, but everyone's ready. I got drums. Um, I look. Cheers, man. He's got he's got me a flask. Cheers, cheers, bro. Wait, that does damage to me though. Fuck it. Um. Next week I'll be going into London though, so. Five. Yeah. Okay. We'll four, talk about it when. Three, two. When we get to next one. week. Yeah. Wait. What's he say? It's fine, Harry. It does nothing. Ah, right, sweet. Is no resto please the new no flame please? <laughs> oh, things are different, mate. Oh, yeah? Oh, I know, I know I'm supposed to pull these as well. Yep, grab those. Watch your feet. Right, I had a lot of trouble in here. I know, but honestly, your biggest problem was the tree boss, so. Good threat. On my characters without less, I usually just carry drums. It, it is better than nothing, obviously, but usually in a pug, you don't want nothing. <laughs> you can choose your party, you know, you should probably choose the things that are good. But in this case, we got what seems to be maybe five, five stream viewers, so. Five people all together is obviously going to be better than having an optimized bloodlust. Considering when we invited one in the last key, the guy did half the damage of other players and pulled trash and wiped them. So, uh, Where is Harry from? I assume you're playing on the same region, but in different places. From London. Yeah, he's from England. Uh, obviously, normally plays on the EU realms. But uh, today, well, recently, we got him to come over to the US for pretty much just for this series. I had planned to play more with them, frankly, but I think this is easier. Harry Brought did the make the mistake of inviting an Ellie Shaman. <laughs> what were you going to say? We got uh, next season, bro. I'll have a DPS off spec so I can do some keys with the boys. Like... Yeah. Oh, I've pulled something, the fuck you know. Is this? I don't think that was you. Never saw this mob. Put your weapons up. I've never been up these stairs. I didn't even know there were stairs. Yeah, here, no, we're not going up the stairs. Get out the stairs. Three. Two, one. Get him on a saying winger. There's trash up there. We don't want to go up there. Watch your feet. Get green. New skull. One. I was on the chandelier. I was on the. Ah, oh, hey. <laughs> that's another thing, yeah, bro. In Wrath, yeah. Obviously, we do ICC together. Me, um, Billy, and Ryan, yeah. Ryan might even be in the stream. It should be. Um. 
basically, I accidentally, he died on Death Whisper. Yeah. I took responsibility. I said, look. Oh, that's not good. Um, I took responsibility. I said, look. I might have howling blasted, but an howling, you can't be say an howling blast killed you. It, would, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, you would have needed a lot of people to hit you for you to die, do you know? So, bro, the geezers bubbled me on Sarafang <laughs> as we walked in and killed my burst. It took me three and a half seconds to turn it off because I didn't know it was on. Oh, yeah, because in Wrath you can't attack with Bop Up, right? Yeah. Forgot about that. And then we've just had a massive back and forth. Oh. Yeah, okay, there's also going to be a patrol coming from the stairs to your right, so you need to be paying attention to where that is and getting that too when it comes down. Three, two... I had a tank that wouldn't pull the mobs into the courtyard in a 23 a couple days ago with Sanguine and just fight them in the fucking narrow hallways. That's crazy. We're better to fight. He's here, aren't we? Uh, if you can actually skip the pat, you might be all right. It's possible to skip. It doesn't look like it's going to happen then. Eh? That's fine. We'll just pull down with the next pack. Go ahead and grab all those together. Raining indoors, you see that? Is it raining? <laughs> you don't have threat on four mobs? Death grip two Three, to taunt. Two, one. Watch your feet. What's your favorite dungeon that WoW's ever put out, Metro? Watch your feet. In terms of Mythic Plus or in terms of just in general? It, it, like, it, it, not in terms of Mythic Plus. Like, not the easiest dungeon to run. I mean, like, what's your yeah. favorite? My aspect? favorite se setting ever is Zulgarub. Zulgarub? Yeah. An old one, yeah? Well, that's a raid. It, now a dungeon. But still, my favorite setting in WoW. This I is my it. favorite. Oh, Waycrest? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. What was you going to say? I was going to say it's not technically a dungeon, but it's still one of my favorites. No, it is a dungeon, bro. It's, it's a dungeon now. Yeah, it is, but it's not the dungeon version of it that made me fall in love with it. Oh. Three, What's two, your feet? one. Finally um, managed to yeah. pull that off. Yeah. But it was, to be fair, it was Skitty. Skitty done it. Skitty done the pool. Okay, you can go you just go out of here? Yeah, you're good now. It's those dogs that cause the problems. All four of those dogs, they have a million health each, and they drop Sanguine. So just be ready to move now. Go move, move, move. Death grip. Good. When you got eight of those, more, more, I think it's like, maybe even like 12 of those dogs. Pretty much impossible. There's just sanguine everywhere. So you can pull all of those dogs first. That's what I was trying to. That's what I was trying to get you to do with D and D there. All right, so we're gonna grab this stuff. We are also then gonna do a full detour for Blilith. We do not want to fight this tree boss two, without having Blilith up. Okay. Taunt the mob that's green. Watch your feet. Uh, we got the matron. Oh, that's yeah. All right, just begin again with the dogs. Try to move them now. Move them now. Move them now. Move them now. See so what we have there is a situation where we have one mob that won't move and three mobs that will, and those three mobs that will were the ones that were going to die. So you want to just move yeah. those in advance so it's not dropping sanguine on the mob that won't. Three, two, one. So now we're gonna go to the right side first and come back after Blowless is up, okay? 
I, I like the music in this place. I like the theme, the haunted ass. Like, it's like a horror film. Yeah. A and it's raining indoors. <laughs> well, you're actually outdoors now, but yeah, for some reason it was raining through the, the things before. Okay, she's done it again. The single piglet pull. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> pull conservatively, Harry. Get one pig. <laughs> Grab those gorgers as well before they pat away again. Get out of sanguine, move everything. Watch your feet. Ready to move from Sanguine? Goes a lot more enjoyable when people actually play and... Yeah, this is what keys should look like every single time you do keys. Grab this stuff on the right. Okay, I think you might have got it. It's fine. Yeah, you're good. You're good. You're good. Run, 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 run. Don't turn your backs to the mobs. Shut the door, shut the door. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool if that worked. You can actually. shut that door. You, you can, can, but it's someone shut it. Yeah, but they just run right through it. It doesn't do Two, anything. One. That's funny. <laughs> Watch your feet. All right, we can still pull the corridor. Yeah, you still need the mobs to the right as you enter that hallway. You never picked all those up. I'll probably get those next, and then we'll come back for the boss. Yeah, that should be all you need, and then Bloodlust will be up. So just go deep down here and just throw D&D, &D and then run out. Okay, run out. Oh, yeah, I forgot you have to slow D&D, huh? All right, that's fine. Pick them up. Three, two, one. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna need one more pull still with Bloodlust. Well, the DPS is too good. Yeah, I mean, we got a couple of ringers in here now. Watch your feet. Well, if we time this, at least we've got a massive key to do next week. Yeah, you'll definitely time this. And then get that piglet and now run. Perfect. You really gotta stop turning your back to mobs, man. Three, two, one. Watch your feet. Things like this is why I love Goblin DK. Feet. Oh yeah, the speed boost. Watch I don't feet. think it would help in that situation, unfortunately, with all those narrow rooms. All right, so boss will be next. We're probably gonna still want to clear once. But with this group, you may very easily get away with not clearing. So Three, we'll see what the DPS looks like on the pole. Yeah, I think you're going to be all right to just not clear. Beware the 
Yeah, maybe you should do it just to be safe, though. Start looking for a fire patch. Three, two, one. Do it, 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 do it. Oh, Harry, what are you doing? I did, I did, you sit after the... You want to do it in between thorns. Basically, after the thorns go out, you can do it. And then it's gonna go right to pig boss. Do we still need cam? No, you should be good. One. Uh. Okay, Jake is here. So just make sure you're dodging the swirls on the ground, and otherwise staying in melee range of the boss. That's the only thing you need to do here. That, that front all does not need to be dodged by you, so if you're in it, you can just stay in it. Slap your hands now. No, don't use it. Well, you <laughs> on CD, yeah. Two, one. Funny joke, Harry. <laughs> Yeah, because if those servants get to the boss, he does like a big damage thing. I think he hits everybody or something like that. I can't remember. The Ooslings we do want to gather, but the other guys, no. Close to triple upgrading this. You're lying. Well, there's no. Well, that's yeah. Last time I said that. <laughs> so let's wait on that comment. But get the rest of the mobs. Where is she? Where is the guy? Right there. Uh, <laughs> no, what? Don't... Good. I don't want to triple upgrade it. Okay. What RP should you be playing? At here as well. Do you try to play to have? Try what? to play to. I'm. I'm not sure if he means runic. I guess he means runic power. What runic power should you be playing at here? Do you try to play to have death strike ready or just do for the damage? Okay. Yeah. So basically, the way I like to do it is, um, if I know I'm not gonna be in like, you know, the pole we're fighting right now, this is no danger to me. I will never die to this pole, right? So I will like just use all runic power on death strike. Has a DPS spell one. basically, but if I know the pack can be dangerous, I will try to save one, usually one death strike, for just in case moments. Otherwise, you know, I'll go from like ninety down to forty, then back to ninety kind of thing, you know. But uh, yeah, just pretty much don't overcap and don't go to zero unless you're sure you're not going to be in danger in three or four seconds. Uh, I think every time I've heard Metro say Harry will upgrade it, he immediately fucking dies to something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, at least we can we can agree it's Metro's fault. Yeah, that's my fault. There, yeah. <laughs> There's Alma pulled. Good. Three, two, one. Watch your feet. She needs to come out. Yeah, move her out of the blood pool. I normally just spend my runic power, man. Like I don't, I don't like, like. Right, and if I showed you what your failures look like, you would know why you need to stop doing that. Because there's times when you're sitting there with zero runic power and you're still pressing death strike anyway. <laughs> and to me, that tells me that you're not aware of what the ebb and flow of like death strike versus hard strike what looks like right now. 
So that will come with that. You need that trash still? That, yep, you need that trash. Um, that will come with time, but uh, for now, I think you just need to be more focused on what you're looking at on your actual UI and paying more attention to how much generation versus spending you're doing because like that's everything about blood dk right there in a nutshell like if you don't have runic power when you need it you will die and if you you know end up wasting too much too many runes on spells that aren't going to help you get runic power at the right times then you'll die from that too it's like you could fail on both sides of this this What's mistake you know what i mean we want more peeps in the blood pool around these What's parts <laughs> move them out yeah Oh, yeah, why do we have so much count? Oh, it's because of that, uh... Two, one. Stupid thing that... Oh, the extra. Above. I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah, that's my bad. We just don't kill the, the ghouls. We invis You could them. invis the ghouls. That's what we used to do, but... Does it matter if you free chest it or two chest it? What's the difference, bro? The key goes up one more level. But considering this is your last key of the day, I don't, I don't think it matters. Harry did say he didn't want to triple upgrade it. Yeah, so that's why I told him to go over count him. Boarding candle, that's the thing you need to move everything from. Three. That mob can't Two, be gripped, but it can't be interrupted. One. Heavily recommend doing that. Watch your feet. I'm trying to drag it back through Sanguine, but it's fine, I guess. Watch your feet. Metro over here talking about Harry's one big pull. Harry just thinking in advance about trying to not triple upgrade the key. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, really, you should get you should get bonus loot for the amount of trash you kill. That would be interesting. That would be very interesting. Every percent of trash you go over is point Three, one. It's like one percent of extra loot. One. The problem so is some, people, some dungeons just don't have enough for that. No, like some people that um. Some people AOE, some people like seal target. Watch your feet. You you can do the key how you want to do it. If there's anyone at Blizzard listening to that, I'd like rats as well. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Maybe you're the opportunist. <laughs> Three, two, one. So glad I ain't got to worry about that green thing. Yeah. That's a DPS thing, isn't it? Mm. It's just not a thing that you, as a brand new Blood DK, should ever be thinking about. It's very hard for you to do it as a Blood DK, even if you're ready to do it. I can already hear the DPS yelling at me because I didn't hit 150% loot for the extra, or 150% for the extra loot, yeah. For fuck's sake, tank, yeah, actually, that's hilarious. That's, that, that would backfire crazily. For fuck's sake, fucking idiot tank, you pulled too few mobs! <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Three, two, Harry knows what's one. up. After the way Blizzard squished Mythic Plus, we know they must be watching Metro's videos. Yeah, maybe. Definitely, yeah. Did you hear that? That's like literally exactly what I recommended, and they did it exactly as I recommended. You're lying. Yeah, it's really weird. Maybe you've got a fucking sneaky, sneaky pull in old Blizzard. The the weird the weirdest part about it is that Wait, like what's happening to me? You're dying to a dot from the boss still. It's good now. Are you gonna fight the trash? Or are you skipping it? Okay, I guess you're just gonna do that. Anyway, oh, that, um. Bro. But yeah, the weird thing about it is like I don't know anybody else who was offering that type of feedback and gave it that way. Like I don't know anybody else who said they should squish the item, the squish the levels of it. One. 
So I don't know. It's either a total coincidence or yeah, they did hear the feedback. I reckon, yeah, they heard that feedback, mate. It's possible. That's why I'm saying, listen, hey! <laughs> <laughs> listen to Harry, if you could understand him, he has some good ideas. <laughs> we want trash runs! <laughs> <laughs> we already got those, buddy, don't worry about that. <laughs> we also want Dreads to be deleted. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even want them to be deleted. I just want them to start playing. Three, two, one. You ran with me, mate. That's the very definition of trash runs, says cop. <laughs> Well, it's probably a double upgrade. I don't know exactly what the timers are. 11 minutes certainly sounds like it would definitely be at least a double upgrade, if not triple. Probably double. Yeah, we got a double upgrade, so we got a big old key to do next week. Well, no, that's not how it works. It's based off whatever the highest key you actually ran in time was, so that'll be 22. Or is it? Did we upgrade to it? No, we only upgrade 21s. So yeah, you'll have a 21 next week. Good way to end the stream, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good way to end the week. You know, I think Sanguine kind of beat us up a lot. Um, and maybe that made it harder to learn the basics of the tanking stuff. But it's actually probably a good problem to have. Like, the basics are not hard to figure out. So once you figure them out, you'll be in really, really good shape. He lost to the priest. Yeah, we got another portal too, said. sweet. Oh. That's a good Do one. we need that metro? I mean, again, it just depends on if you want to take these side grids. Everbloom 23. Yeah, thanks for all the help today, Jix. Yeah, cheers, bro. And everybody else who opted in the key and the other ones as well. Thank you, guys. Oh, yeah. So how do you feel like the week went then after three days of Sanguine tanking? Um, Sanguine's hard for a tank, bro. It's a rough... Yeah. It's, it's definitely it's, the it's... most like mentally engaging a fix, for sure. Bolstering would be harder to survive, but... For the most part, it's just survival. That's it. There's not much else yeah. you can do. So, saying when you're constantly having to re evaluate positioning and everything. Yeah, do you know what it is? It's uh... Sanguine is, is the hardest uh, fix for a tank. Yeah, I would agree. Because it's all about, um, oh, look, cops sorted us out. Yeah. Nice. Where is he? Yeah, the cognitive load, that's a good way to put it. Because that's, especially when you're new, that's going to make a big difference. 30 minutes, yeah, yeah. Oh, cop right, so what is that? Yeah, you get your 100 of them, jeez. Um, yeah, it's, it's not, it's not, look, it's not easy for a new player, new tank to come along with this sanguine stuff. You did great though. This sanguine stuff is 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 like we'll take the best tank. Uh, you know? It's challenging no matter who who you are for sure. Cause even if even if yeah, you um you you misplayed by a second, you could heal that mob up by like thirty percent. It and could that, be huge, yeah, it could devastate yeah. the key. And that and... could make your two into a one. 
<laughs> right. Well, that's true too. The time loss is a big deal. But the bigger thing you might not be thinking about is it means certain dangerous mobs are going to do more mechanics. And like the healer might be struggling to survive the ones that are already going to come out. You know what I mean? So like in Throne, yeah. there's those Sentinel mobs. They put a bubble on a player and that bubble has to be healed off before a certain amount of time goes. Otherwise, that guy's going to die. And so by healing that mob with Sanguine, you're guaranteeing an extra bubble, maybe even two. You know what I mean? And those things can really add up over the course of a trash pull. Yeah. Uh, Tub asks, sure. how many portals does he still need now? Um, I think you have five. Or maybe I've you have got six out of the seven, right? So we have Waycrest, Throne. Tid tid tidy. Uh, the the Galakrons ones. Black Rook Black Door. Rook. And so you have uh, five. Five out of the seven. Uh, so which the ones you don't have? AD and DHT. Yeah, AD and DHT he doesn't have. That DHT has absolutely owned them, so it's going to be a tough one. But... Yeah. I like to go back there when it's not sanguine. Yeah, it'll be a lot easier next week because it's all going to be on bosses. This was similar to when me and Cop did it. I can't remember what dungeon was it. Was it Grim Rail Depot? One of the, or no, it was the Iron Docks, I think. Yeah, that dungeon absolutely just owned Cop. Like, he had the other seven mastered, and that one just, he'd wipe every, like, it was really bad. So that's going to be yours. DHT is going to be yours, and, you know, we'll get better yeah. at pulling the beginning. Because, unfortunately, you know, with the way people are nowadays, like, they're not going to watch that beginning go that bad. They're just going to leave. So that's the big thing we got to work on is getting past that beginning. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 the only thing, yeah. The, um... The dark art thicket, and we have, we do have a bit of trouble with the druid boss as well. I'd like to get better at him. Yeah, that was just like not. I think you're just not focused up. Like I think you're doing a little bit too much movement, and you're just not thinking about what's happening on the fight, and you'll be good. Yeah. I remember watching cop face pull the star gauntlet trash, and you yelling <laughs> at him. Yeah, do you remember you used to have to <laughs> hop in the balls and throw them at the trash, right? Cop goes, I was trying to teach him how to do, uh, you can pull three pulls together and kill them with the thing and it would be way, way faster. I was trying to teach him how to do it, but he didn't have like any range spells on his bars or something like that. Or I think he didn't know taunt was a range spell or something like that. I don't remember what the issue was. And so instead of trying to pull them all at range, he just ran up to each of them. <laughs> and it's like, what are you doing? You're going to die. Like, you don't pull like 30 mobs. <laughs> yeah, no, it gets like that. But it's all learning, isn't it? It is, yeah. There's things that I didn't know, like... Um, there's things that I didn't know, and that's like... You just got to get in the dungeon and, like... Learn first hand, man. Mm hmm Like, I, le I like learning on the fly. I like being in the dungeon and learning, like, oh, that does that then, yeah? Obviously, now you for know. your teammates, it's not for the best, like, but it's a game at the end of the day, isn't it? And, like, everyone's just got to, like, people take 20s way too seriously than what they are, like. They definitely do, obviously. Especially the people leaving the fucking 20s. Like, yeah. man, those guys are idiots. But you should bring enchants and this sort of things, uh, consumables to a 20. I agree with that. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, you should. But in terms of leaving, like, why not just com go back and complete the dungeon? It's another f four minutes to kill the boss. I don't understand leaving. Yeah, especially in the low keys like that, like a twenty on. Yeah, it's just embarrassing. The, like, but that's just the culture that the game has bred, and unfortunately, until Blizzard does something to help with it, it's never going to change. So, I've been trying to make a mark on the culture, and as much as I've done, it's still not made any actual impact on it. So, you just got to play around it. Like, it's some of the decisions are easily understood. Like, people won't wipe on a boss and pull it a second time. Very unlikely. So, it's just you know, if you can solo save a boss, you do that because then at least those players are going to stick it out. So a Blood Death Knight's perfect, really. Yeah, Blood it? DK is the, the solo save boss, so. You couldn't solo save on anything else, innit? No, you could. I mean, especially depending on the key level, but just especially with Blood DK, like, on this week, like, you can AMS every set of the Afflicted, 
or whatever, um, the Incorporal. You know what I mean? Nobody else can do that. Yeah. So with the Incorporal spawning, other tanks would just die because of that, whereas you'd be able to survive it still. Oh. Yeah, because if the Incorporal don't get CC'd, they make you do zero damage and healing. But it's a magic application. So if you time it right, you can just AMS it, and then they'll just go away before AMS is over. 40 seconds. Is there any talents you would tell me to... Because I thought you were talking about the talents, weren't you? Um, yeah. Oh, you do have hemostasis. Okay, forget it. No, you actually have the two talents that I thought you didn't have based on... I think we looked at the... Uh, yeah, your like, actual blood decay tree is the same as mine, and that's everything that I think you should have. Um, but in terms of your class tree... I I personally like a couple things that are really controversial. So for me to tell you to take them, you know, I don't think it's going to help you. Um, but I would say that, like, yeah, I don't know. No, no, you're fine. Like, it just just stick with what you have. It's not going to make any real impact on your you gameplay. Like oh, yeah, oh. Wraith Walk's the one thing. Like, I was looking at it last night. Like, there's zero percent of the death knights uh from the 20 whatever range upward that take wraith i'm like the only person who takes it uh, but it is so valuable in a pug setting especially in any dungeon where there's actually roots that's a whole different story but regardless in the pug setting like i can guarantee that i will always be the first person to a pack with wraith walk and that may not sound like a big deal but you see like even in the setting where you have very fast dps uh, they're constantly pulling threat, and it's not necessarily always because you're not the first person to the pack, but you guarantee you have threat if you're the only person at the pack, right? So, like, that's... But what do you get rid of instead of that, Metro? What, like, what are you... In what do this you case, well, you'd need to take off two talents, first of all, for your... But I do not have permafrost, although I think you should keep it while you're learning. Permafrost is that blue above Icebound. To the left, right? Yeah, I don't take that anymore. Instead, I take Blinding Sheet. I used to take Permafrost instead, but now that there's so many casters in these seasons, I've taken that instead. Um, the other thing I don't have is that one point above Soul Reaper, whatever that's called. I have no idea what that's even called. Bottom right. Yeah, that is not very good, I don't think. But maybe. Um, so I don't have that. And then I also don't have the D&D &D slow talent at all. So that's Where's right above that stuff? yellow that yellow thing that was right above where you were looking. One more up. One more up. Up from the yellow. Yeah, that. You just get rid of that. D&D &D slow is totally useless, this expansion. Like, I've not seen a single case where I would want it. It's pretty much only for kiting. I think this is good. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you want to use it, feel free. I've never used it myself. You know why I think this is good, Metro? Because 20% of effectiveness on your Rune Forge, which is like... Like, you get your heal from your Crusader. What are you looking at? Yeah, yeah. I it probably is nice. I mean, I don't know what 20% of... And the strength... Of... It says heals you for 7% of your maximum health. So is it going to be 20% of 7? Like, what is that? 7.3 or something? Like, I don't... Not much. Um, oh. But I would like to see what it does for Stone Skin Gargoyle. Because maybe that would be more valuable. Because those are flat flat numbers as well. But, I mean, what yeah. Do you if you think you're better with Blood Draw? No, that talent's terrible. Most people take Icy Talons and Empowered Rune Weapon. That's what, like, 99% of people who play Blood DK take. Those talents are purely DPS increases. There's a very small case to be made for Empowered Rune Weapon being a defensive spell, but then the same people who argue you should have it, they always just tell you to macro it, and then that totally takes it out of its defensive element, obviously. So, like, yes, you probably can get some good value out of using that defensively, but you just have such a wide kit defensively anyway that yet another two-minute CD that's awkward to use is just not really going to ever help you. So it's basically like those talents are to improve your DPS, and I just don't care for that myself. There's other talents that I'd rather take over that. 
But there's always AMZ as well, which is very valuable at times, but I think it's extremely hard to get good value out of in most keys. And another weird thing is like the people who say it's very valuable, none of them take the second talent, which makes it like way more valuable. So I don't know. There's just like a bunch of weird shit that goes on in the DK community, but yeah. that's just well, what that's I do. Slow, and... I, I got rid of because like, yeah, yeah, right, that's pointless. That's no, pointless. in fact, that's hurting me because when I used it in the thing, it slowed them. Yeah, it's sanguine is making it's making sanguine slightly harder. So, so if just you... stick that there and just keep that like that. Yeah, that's I don't fine. really, I don't really want Wraith. I don't see honest. you using Wraith Walk, honestly. So yeah, yeah. Well, I could take the two out of there and put them in icy talons, but. It I'm would not probably, from that. yeah. It, you would improve your DPS with icy towns, but you would lose slightly a little bit of healing. So that's probably better. And I just... think the strength twenty percent. Yeah, yeah, strength. yeah. That's true. You would lose a little bit of defense as well as healing. So yeah, definitely keep that. That's fine. Yeah, we just, we we we'll, we'll keep them like this. But I like this though. You know, when I was I was the other. Oh, I had heartbreaker and I had bloodshot. And I was, and Metro was like to me, oh, you need, like, not everyone, everyone goes this one, not a lot of people go for this, and Billy Curse, like that. And I was like, nah, I don't need, I want to do damage, bro. When I'm in them runs, I realize how powerful this is. Yeah, you're getting your fucking ass beat, like, to the point where it's like, <laughs> you're panic stricken, right? So, like, what, okay, yeah, let's definitely focus on more offense. That's going to make us a better player. Yeah, like, no, <laughs> the damage is, like, the damage is not, like, I was running with Bone Storm, remember? <laughs> Yeah, he had Bone Storm in the beginning. That's funny, bro. I, I thought I was gonna top the damage with Bone Storm and that, yeah. and then I've learned the hard way. No, bro. If I had this, I'd probably be dead. Are you definitely, yeah. Bone Storm would just destroy your rotational skills. I'd be gone. I'd be a goner. I'll see you later. But I've enjoyed this, man. Good, man. It's you're. you're I'm really happy to see your progress. It's really rewarding for me. Yeah, like bro, I'm being taught by the best blood DK. I'm not the best. Stop um, saying that. <laughs> <laughs> and bro, yeah, we're, we're climbing the ranks, man. But sorry, I would have done another one, but I got I got her eaten that, man. Yeah, no, that's fine, dude. I get it. It's yeah. getting late. We'll, uh, we'll sort out another day. Yeah. yeah so, what are you thinking yes. preliminarily for next week? I pro I probably won't be around Thursday and Friday, but I, okay. th that. That's that's uh, it might be when I'm not sure I'm gonna have to work out next week, but I know t I'll be gone for two days, and it's more than likely gonna be Thursday and Friday. Okay, cool. So maybe Wednesday still, yeah. Wednesday is yeah. Wednesday's ninety percent. I just need to like I'm gonna need to work out when my old girl's driving in and that to go over. Perfect. But um, thanks to everyone who watched and everyone who come to help in the keys as well. If cops still about, thanks for my flask, mate. I really appreciate it. All right, cool. Well, yeah, I'm going to hop off then. So um, great running with you guys this week, or great running with you this week. Thanks for all the help from the stream as well. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back Tuesday. I have some videos coming this weekend. Obviously, though, the clip from Harry's uh, hilarity this weekend will definitely be there, and I'll make one more. <laughs> But then, yeah, we'll be back next weekend. I'm really expecting beta and alpha soon. Uh, you know, cross our fingers we get in, but I don't think I will. So we'll see how that goes. Usually that's honestly very depressing to see everybody out there streaming it and not have access to it. So we'll see how I approach that. But if we somehow get in, then we'll have to talk. So, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Otherwise, stay tuned. Next week, we'll probably be back with Wednesday on Harry, and I'll just do regular keys outside of that. So, yeah, that's that. Cheers, thanks for everyone. Cheers. Yeah. My pleasure having you, Harry. We'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.